Do you see anything? Ow! The next trickster? Yes, this one is worse. Well, yes. Don't worry. He thinks he's playing with us. It's just an illusion. Come here. Enough joking around.
What do you want to tell me, friend? And the teacher said, Victor, is the right here in the classroom with us right now? <laughs> I almost pissed myself. I laugh all you want, but I really can see it. I can help it. Victor, promise me that the whispers of these salutors of yours won't turn you into a cynic like your father. I promise, Mother. I'd rather not change at all, much less into father. You'll see! My upper will order you to eat your own brain! I'm telling Mom, all your temper turges are crazy. I've been carrying it with me for half a lifetime. I remember there was someone else here. He wasn't happy. He thought I wasn't ready yet. Miss, maybe he was right. Am I a magician or what?
can you feel it? He moves with the bustle of the market and the rustle of sand grains around the stalls. It feels like the sun is standing at its zenith and burning mercilessly. It's a visitor from a harsh desert land. A djinn. I felt something. Where is it? Would you like to buy some flowers? They'll steal your heart. Have you perhaps noticed any unprecedented phenomena happening here? Here? Mister, there's a thousand and one of those happening every day. How about a flower? I'll have one. It will be perfect for a buttonhole. A desert daisy. It survives even in the harshest conditions. I didn't think you were such an expert on flowers. Rather on people. I can't help but feel that we've already met. Surely you're confusing me with someone else, sir. I know what I'm talking about. You left an identical flower on one of the stalls, and you were very happy about it. You got a beautiful porcelain plate in return. And earlier, you were looking at gold watches. Fearing the seller becoming suspicious, you gave up on one of them. Should I go on? Thaumaturge, I've heard a little something about you and your tricks. Want me to show you real magic? Stop. What are you up to, pickpocket? Stealing from flower girls? You scoundrel. You don't like breathing through a straight nose. Gentlemen, I didn't do anything this manipulator is accusing me of. Everyone says that. Well, maybe not quite in this way, but... And people lose their belongings. What about him, Yahim? Gentlemen, I didn't do anything this manipulator is accusing me of. Everyone said. And people lose the. Let's get this over with. Well mannered scum. Fine. We'll teach you not to pick people's pockets.
The plan is simple. Bashka has a stand around the corner where she sells moonshine. You've got the money, I've got the will, everything fits. The evening is set. You're a real strategist, brother. Then the bald guy looks to his left, looks to his right, and pooh smacks the cop right in the face. <laughs> Calm down, don't go hitting me now. Has anyone ever told you that you get overly excited about certain things? Name? Shulski. From those Shulskis? Well, well, your daddy will be happy. Just like my daddy when he hears that I've been leading little Victor down the wrong path again. Shut your mouth, punk, or my deputy will put a precautionary bullet in your right butt cheek. who wanted to show me his father's stall. He picks a bad moment. I didn't need thaumaturgy to feel his shame at that moment. We can go. Now I'm ashamed of what I felt back then. I felt superior.
What do you want to tell me, friend? Victor, my old man will kill me when he finds out this was our doing. Don't go yellow on me now, brother. First off, it wasn't our doing, it was mine. Second, keep a lookout if anybody's coming. I have to focus. Said Samin's a prick. Look, it's so pretty. You've made the eye a little crooked. your fucking head. I don't give a fuck about the Shulsky family money. This is a matter of my pops and my honor. All right already, calm down. I have a different plan. What plan? Because if Satanisov is involved, I'm out! Calm down, it's not like that, but we have to get into his office. I don't want to see it. We didn't realize what we were doing. We were still children. Mieszko Setsemin was a scoundrel. He ruined many people's lives. This is my pride. The same you clung to, barely discovered, but it was what pushed me into it. It got the better of me at the time. Is every thaumaturge enslaved by the floor? I was tormented by guilt for a long time. But eventually, that event made me who I am today. Didn't it? That's him, the one with the book. You oozing carbuncle. You ain't had enough of Warsaw yet? So you're sticking your nose in on people here? You know what happens to fellas who sniff around when they ain't supposed to? Miruv, don't kid around with them. And who am I supposedly bothering? And you've wasted the chance to keep your mouth shut. We'll cure this posh boy of his nosiness, you can bet.
That wasn't too hard. Interesting. My thief was definitely here. Or could the djinn be deceiving me? The heat again. What tricks are these? Welcome to the watering hole, wanderer. Show the proper respect. Hello. My name's Victor. They call me Ali, and this is my well. Did you draw from it? I'm not looking for trouble. Then answer the question. I wish. It's unbearably hot. I'll let you, if you tell me what you're doing here. I was looking for someone here, but I didn't find them. At the zenith, in the desert, it's not hard to lose your way. Are you trying to lead me astray, like Jin? I meet desert spirits sometimes. But I don't walk in their paths. No mortal should. I'm just Ali. I'm following the trail of a particular thief, but so far she has eluded me. I know she passed this way. It sounds like she's one of the djinns. You weren't far off. Have you seen her? I've not only seen her, I also know her. And since you showed me respect at the watering hole, I'll tell you where to find her. Go south and find washerwomen working. Your thief lives among them. Your oasis is within reach. I'm talking to you, man. What? I asked why you're staring at this pump. I'm looking for the laundry. Well, you could use it. Both laundries are in Mirov, on Crown Pass Street, south of here. No offense, but you look and sound like someone who's lost his marbles. You better go now. Be on your way.
Let's try. Open sesame. How did you know the password, Ganef? I know a thing or two about magic. If you don't behave, I'll turn you into a toad. As long as you don't turn me into a Ganef. Back off, Churl. Do you even know what it means, you little shit? I won't have no foreigner teach me Warsaw speak. It's clear you're not from around here. I can spot a wise guy from a mile off. I'll get my guys if I need to. Don't get in my way, understand? There's nothing for you here, posh boy! Fondled everything yet, Claude? Then get lost. Should I scrub your tongue out with soap? Who taught you such foul language? Your sister doesn't speak like this, that's for sure. We can't afford soap, you bourgeois bastard! Let's talk about your sister and about you. I know her name is Layla. I'm not talking to Ganefs. I also like potato dumplings, garnished with onions browned in a hot pan, the kind your sister makes for you. Stop annoying me! I'll invite you both for some freshly kneaded dumplings, provided you tell me where Layla is. Don't lie to me, Ganef. That checkered blanket. You used to hide under it when your sister was arguing with your father, didn't you? And? I could feel how scared you were when she smuggled you in it through the Warsaw turnpikes. Yeah, right. A cracked window is nothing pleasant. Fall will come soon. Layla wants you to find a better place. If you don't tell me where she is, I won't be able to help you. All right, I'll tell you. As long as it gets you out of here. She's probably at the harem. It's a local brothel, not far from here. Just don't get any ideas. She doesn't work there. Thank you. Ganef.
You tried to deceive me, but it's not gonna happen. It'll be mine. How much can I get for this loot? We have a guest. Is it nice to eavesdrop like this? I was looking for her. We have things to talk about. My guess is that he didn't come to a brothel for a philosophical debate. Do you know each other? Something like that. If he pesters you, you know what to do. And you better behave yourself, or you'll scare away the girls. Is he your fence? Why, are you interested in him? Or maybe you're interested in me? I must have caught your eye. You could say that, sure. You have something I want. I'm not here to grant your wishes. Hey, you there! Yeah? Got a problem? <laughs> My brave assistants will show you the door. Try not to resist too much. They don't like it. I will deal with them on the spot. And you, don't go anywhere.
Hello, sweet secret. Tell me, will my people be all right after all that? They'll live. I also told you to behave yourself. It's a nice place. Why call it harem? And why won't the Thaumaturge start answering questions instead of asking them? I wonder how it is with you lot in bed. What are those demons of yours up to then? I'm open to all possibilities. I don't know if this is the right place to be making such declarations, but you've intrigued me, sorcerer. Were you here in May during the pimp lynching? I was. I was. But I'm still here. Sadly, not everyone was as fortunate. What caused the lynching? No, no, kitty cat. The right question is why? However, no one knows this for sure. Some say it was anti-Semitic workers. Others say that it's provocation from the Ohrana because soldate are regulars here. Sometimes bad blood needs to be spilled to make the rabble docile again. Luck can also be helped, right? If one has, for example, a deal with the Ohrana's provocateurs, it can make a lot of things easier. They say that luck favors those who manage on their own. I'm alive, and the girls have a place to work. Everyone is happy. So what if the hateful mob targets all magicians tomorrow? And the only rescue for you and your friends will be to make a deal with the Ohrana. Will you help your luck then, or will you complain? I'll never make a deal with saddest services. Never say never. I have some other quick. There are so many more pleasant things you could do here with that mouth. But ask. Why tweezer? Because it appeals to the imagination. But I've also heard a few creative variations. I think I enjoyed Squeezer the most. Get it? I see. It's kind of funny. I'll be off now. Go. I'm back. Like a bad dream. You are persistent. I'll give you that. How did you find me? I'm a thaumaturge after all. I can find anyone, no matter how hard they try to cover their tracks. I know, I know. And you found me. So, what do you want? I'm not the only one following you. There's something else. A wild salutar. It's him that I find the most interesting about you. Do you know what a djinn is? Nothing beyond what my brother has read about him in his fairy tales. And it's this arrogant impudence that attracts him to you. 
I'm afraid it's an inborn trait. You showed some guts when you pulled yourself and your brother out of that place with neither hope nor prospects. I don't intend to confide in you. You're not going to sit here forever, are you? Stealing for Tweezer won't get you and your brother out of poverty. And what do you know about getting out of poverty, Mr. Bourgeoisie? You have a good deal going with Tweezer, correct? A business like any other, but I admit that I'm quite comfortable here. It's very profitable for him, too. He took you in when you first came to the city? Don't get any ideas. All he did was help me get back on my feet. If your arrangement works so well, why are you stealing from him? I know that you know the combination to Tweezer's safe. So that makes two of us, then. I keep my hands to myself and my mouth shut. I advise you to do the same. I'll look around here some more. Do what you want. And again? A lot happens here. It seems like an ordinary brothel, but it's managed rather creatively. Instead of putting your hands on things, maybe start putting them on beautiful ladies. Or gentlemen. The choice is yours. I don't know if touching anyone would tell me that Layla has been skimming from your safe. Layla! I'm busy. Busy getting into my safe? Says who? The gold watch you lifted from the Dvor whispered to me that you are equally cautious when lifting banknotes from the safe. Not too much, either, so that no one catches on. You talk to watches? Maybe you're a snake charmer, too. Yes. Anything else, charmer? I know the combination. I know that you keep repeating it in your head when you're bored. Did you hear me? Mind your thoughts around this one or he'll expose you for the deviant you are. Layla, pockets. Come on, is 1891 an important date? Pockets. No, and if you so much as touch me, I'll go to your Ohrana buddies and tell them that you're stealing from your clients, including their people. You little ingrate. Come to me. Her audacity certainly helped Layla and her brother tackle their fate. But it also led you down the path of transgression. Without it, you will cease to be the Jin's puppet.
You're mine, almost. Is... is it over? I don't feel particularly different. Except that I don't want to be here anymore. I have to go back to my brother. Will you be alright? Yes, I'm almost certain of that. Rest. You look awful. Good luck. Do you have a moment? For you? I need your help. Again. And I won't turn you down again. Where did you find that salutor? In the Sahara? It's a gem. A master of wishes in his own form. Quickly, Victor, before he buries us both. Focus on your wish. Extraordinary. He doesn't threaten you anymore. Your wish is his command.
Mr. Shulsky, come in. What's new? I've got some fresh ideas for you. I see what it is you are getting at, but the collection still seems to have some missing pieces. Please, keep looking. We need bold concepts. Meanwhile, I won't bother you. All right. Fagin? W.S., it's good that you're here. Did you get my message? Indeed. I need your help. Did someone get upset that you were following him, sniffing after a scandal? No, I've gotten used to that already. This is something bigger. What is it? Have you heard what happened at Vienna Station? No. There was an attack, bloody and brazen, several dead, all of them civilians, it seems. A new group of fanatics have taken credit for the assassination. They call themselves Lechites. The Russians have put Zhukov himself on the case. I want to write about it, the truth, but I need help. What did I do to earn such trust? I liked how you handled the case of the Krajewskis and Pietya Alexandrovich. Krajewski hasn't said a thing since then. Impressive, but also a bit scary. There is no one in Warsaw more suitable for what I am about to propose to you. 
You flatter me. Enough to get you interested in this case? I've never written an article. How can I help? I'll handle the writing. You focus on finding these Lachites. I want to eliminate the possibility of this being a Russian provocation. I'll interview them. What do you make of this? Zukov, is he that famous investigator? They say he's amazing and very effective. If the Ruskies have got him on this case, it must be the top priority. Anything else? I wouldn't be so sure the censors would allow you to print something like this. I don't write exclusively for state-run newspapers. Have you ever heard anything about Kimichits? Of course. Who hasn't? The Ochrana, I hope. I'll admit that I am rather well known in patriotic circles as Kimichits. Congratulations. Keep asking. Who are those Lehites? Nobody knows. They've shown up in Warsaw only recently. This is the first attack they've taken credit for. That's why I want to reach out and talk to them. Anything else? Who died in this attack? That's what's suspicious. Nobody knows. The list of victims has been classified, but I know that they're most likely civilians, random people, Poles. The Lachites fancy themselves patriots, and look what we have here. That's enough for me to start with. So you agree? Yes, maybe I'll reach out to Uncle. Good idea, because you need a pass to access the attack site. They won't just let anyone in. No offense. Do you ever see Vonda? Perhaps I should speak to her. Wonderful. Fine. And when you happen to stumble across a Lahite, don't forget to call me. It's a shrewd mistia number, 3490. I'm also leaving you their manifesto. I just want to talk to them and write an honest article about them, in Polish. Might I take a moment of your time? Detective Zukov, right? I'm not an idiot. I didn't call you an idiot. I'm trying to stay ahead of the facts. I want to save us both time, which is why I decided to warn you. I'm listening. I think I could... Help with finding the attackers, I know. Yes, for the love of God. Just don't ask me how I figured it out. I requested a thaumaturge myself, but it will be at least a week before he arrives in Warsaw. So, you're stuck with me. Let's get to the point then. I trust you will share your knowledge with me. When you manage to locate the Lekites, be so kind as to come back to me. Of course. Please tell me, why does this matter concern you? My interest in this is of a private nature. As a thaumaturge, I try to prove to myself and others how effective I can be. I understand your point of view perfectly. Is there anything else? Seeing as we're working together, Perhaps you'd like to make things easier for me and be so kind as to issue me some sort of a 
Pass? Nonsense. I would never sign such a thing. I told you, I'm not an idiot. Our cooperation is extremely unofficial. You were never here, and I never gave you any answers. Have you learned the identities of the victims from Vienna Station? The station is virtually impossible to examine during such a short period of time. At least for Warsaw investigators, anyway. And it looks like all the victims were random people. Perhaps some things will clear up once we're allowed to talk to the injured witnesses. I'm waiting for a call regarding this matter. So, there are survivors. I've already said too much. Meeting you was a most interesting experience. Let's do this again when you find the Lekites. May I have a moment of your time, Uncle? Your timing couldn't be worse. I'm swamped with work. This attack at the railway station has the highest priority now. That's what I've come to talk to you about. First of all, keep your voice down. Secondly, I won't tell you anything because I'm not allowed to say anything. And third, are you involved with this in any way? An acquaintance of mine, who cares about uncovering the truth behind this incident, asked me to help track down the culprits. Tell him to leave it alone, or find new friends. If neither you nor Ligia is involved with this, then I won't tell you anything. You're not involved, right? All you have to do is issue me a pass, and I'm gone. Gat has clearly abandoned you. I want to help. I can help. You've helped enough already. You've helped me, Pietia, and the Krajewskis. All I can do now is make a dramatic exit and leave you alone here. With all these papers, passes, and official stamps. I'm in a hurry, lad. I'd rather you not be here when I return. Judge Voronin is not in. I know. I'm his nephew. I'll wait here. As you wish, sir. It would be a sin not to make use of it. Oh, a Hammond machine. Good brand. Everything all right there, Mr. Yes, sure. Stamp looks worn out. To be expected, Uncle is rather heavy handed.
Tell me what brings you here. What do you know about the Lehites, the new stars of the revolution? You're asking me because you thought that was your best bet? Yes. Only your insolence saves you now. What do you think about their manifesto? They only did it for recognition. Pathetic, amateurish methods of getting attention. I despise them all. But maybe you can help the lady. Do you know where to find them? Sadly, no. I'm trying to figure it out. Just don't forget to come and tell me. I'll gladly sort them out myself. I'll be off now. Too bad. No entry. Foden niet. Zakrita. What attack are you talking about? The Lahites terrorists. They planted a bomb. Dead bodies went flying all over the station. Foden niet in your budget. Congratulations, soldier. Exemplary attitude. But I really have to look around here, so if you'll just let me. If the judge himself issued it. Thank you. I will report to him about your stellar performance. But if you were to ask about me, I was never here. Konieśna. Spasiba. Let's take a look around.
It's got flavor, vitamins, and minerals. I don't drink for health. Vodka. I can see you're having a serious debate, gentlemen. Better tell us what you prefer. I only like cold, thick booze. Preferably in the glass. I can see you're a refinement too. Shut your mouth. Boys, time to clean up the neighborhood. Then, the next round's on me. Arik, you were supposed to lock the door! Desolé, am I interrupting something? You can yell at me later. Let's deal with him!
I've already met Arik. How about the rest? Who are you? We are the revivers of the Holy Republic of Poland. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Triune Lord. Amen. You're leaving behind quite a mess. We're about to start cleaning. mystery. Nothing can be kept secret from me.
Excuse me. Could I interrupt you for a moment? I'm with a patient. What do you want? I'm investigating the attack, and I need to ask you a few questions. What agency are you with? Please, believe me when I say my intentions are good, and consider the fact that I'm a thaumaturge. As a wizard, you should know at least one magic spell. Lady, please, I'm begging you. I'll only take a moment of your time. Yes, sir. I brought a teddy bear. Please, give it to her later. That's nice. Although, you know... I know that this won't bring back her mother or her eyes. Still, thank you. What do you think she was doing at the station? I can surmise that she and her mother had either just arrived or were about to depart. Stefania Lipnitska. All I know is that she died in the attack. How's the impatient doing? She finally fell asleep and is a lot calmer now. But unfortunately, we couldn't save her eyesight. For a while after the operation, she would cry out for her mother and her teddy bear. The last thing she saw was her mother's death. What else would you like to know? Maybe I'll return later. Hello. What is it this time, and where are my things? Give me back my clothes already so I can get out of here. Unless you want to shove a thermometer up my ass again, let's have it then, because I'm drowsy. And morphine. I'm in pain. Are you even a doctor? You could say I'm a doctor of souls. Like a priest. Is there something you wish to confess? You're no doctor. What the fuck do you want? Well then, how are you feeling? Sleepy. You're boring me. I know the station is your doing, Ulehite. I don't know what you're talking about. How about that morphine then? I'll leave you alone, for now. I'm glad I caught you. 
I see you feeling better. Well, it seems I'm a lucky guy. What is it? Why won't you open up to me? After all, you want to send a message to the entire world. You want everyone to hear about you, to admire you. Do you know who Kmicic is? He's eager to write about you. In Polish. For a Polish underground newspaper. About the heroes of the self-proclaimed struggle against the occupiers. What are you on about? Do you know Kmicic personally? Yes. He can't wait. Is that so? Well, I might be able to tell it to some people, and some people will give you our answer. Where and when can we meet? Calm down, magician. We'll reach out to you. What's the noise? Over here, young master! Just look at this young master, brigandage! For God's sake, young master, what is the meaning of this? This is the message I've been waiting for. Telephones exist. I'd better sweep it up before the young miss sees it, and then I'll call a glass worker. I won't tell her. This'll be our little secret. Indeed, exactly. The things people come up with. Tell me what brings you here. The Lehites. What about them? Have you found out what den they're staying in? They seek a meeting, but on their own terms. They said they would send a coach for me to Povishle. A pathetic ploy. Don't worry, I'll be there. I'll keep an eye on you. I'll be off now. Too bad. 
Stay out of trouble, wizard. Detective. I'll admit I didn't expect you back so soon. I want to ask what you think about the Lehi's motives. Do you see them as significant? Their motives are inconsequential to me. The effects of their methods do a lot to undermine them. What you want to know is what I think of Poles who fight for their country in this way. That's right. It's not worth the trouble to lose or take lives in the name of a notion so abstract as the state. Is that all? The Lehites reached out to me and agreed to a meeting. In Povishle, near the market, I'm supposed to get into the carriage they will have arranged to wait for me. We'll follow you. My people will be there before you arrive. See you. Please connect me with Fagin, the editor. Śródmieście, 3490. Yes, I'll hold. Thank you. Hello? It's me, W.S. Have you learned anything? They reached out to me. I'm keeping the brick, but someone should compensate me for the window pane. I'll install it myself. My father was a glazier. Do you know where our bloodthirsty patriots are hiding? We're supposed to meet in Pavishle near the market. They'll have a carriage waiting. I'm on my way. 
and I'll think about whether I should notify somebody else. Have you been waiting long? I'm a journalist. I can be patient when I know I'll be rewarded for it. I see that the carriage hasn't arrived yet. I'm sure they're watching us. Patience. Tell me what you have for me before they get here. I have information for you that may prove useful during the interview. Let's start with how you convinced the Lahites to reach out. It wasn't difficult. I tracked down the attacker. Christian Krull survived the explosion of his own bomb. He was lying in Praga Hospital and is fanatically devoted to the cause. Not bad. And the culprit was right under Zukov's nose all this time. Is there anything else? The target of the attack was Stefania Lipnitska. She ran a foundation on Novogrodzka Street. The Lehites found out that Lipnitska was an informant. She'd handed over members of some Polish society from Vilnius to the authorities. The bomb was meant as revenge. So this was an attack on her? All other victims were... Were unlucky bystanders, yes. Do you have any proof of Lipnitska's betrayal? I saw a congratulatory letter and a Russian medal in her office. In that case, I can't not write about it. You're doing fine. What else? I renewed my contact with the socialists. Well, well. How often do you see Vonda? They want to be as far away from the Lehites as possible, and even go so far as to treat them with hostility. I like this dichotomy, a common goal and yet a moral challenge. I would very much like to hear the other side's version. You're doing fine. What else? Isabella Lipnitska, Stefania's little daughter, is at Praga Hospital. She lost her eyesight due to the attack. And you probably want to suggest that I not mention her in the article. The little girl lost her eyesight and her mother, and now she'll be branded as a traitor's daughter. The child has nothing to do with this. Viktor Shulsky, knight in shining armor. He won't be a very good journalist if you allow yourself to feel guilty, but have it your way. This is everything I've been able to find. Incredible, we must work together more often.
Does your conscience bother you sometimes because of the things you write? Never, if what I write is the truth. A lot when I write to please the censors in the courier. What exactly do you intend to write about the Lerheits? I told you the truth. I want to know if they're Polish patriots who made a mistake, or if they're Russian provocateurs who want to destroy the socialists, or if they're just a bunch of lunatics. I think that's for us. Fine, let's not keep them waiting. Finally. <sighs> so, this is the famous Kimichits, the herald of the revolution. We have a lot in common. That remains to be seen. And this must be Mr. Shulsky. Strange company for a socialist. In that case, you're just common terrorists. Don't think so loud. I care about this interview. All right, this is your interview. Thank you. You will be the first to bring the testimony of the Lahites to the Poles. You will be famous. What did you want to achieve with this attack? To sow fear in imperialistic hearts to show what fate awaits those who betray Poland. Is this about Stefania Lipnitska? We want to use this interview to expose her lies, her betrayal, let the people see her true face. She was no Pole, not a true one. Lipnitska's faults are not commensurate with her punishment. Tell that to those she sent to the scaffold. I regret that we could only kill her once, while she killed many. Lipnitska's daughter will be better off in the shelter. At least now she has a chance to grow into a patriot. Your victims were all Poles. Doesn't that conflict with your postulations? Please, don't twist our intentions. What are the biggest differences between you and the socialists? Because a trusted source tells me that they have a decidedly negative view of your organization. Socialism is our biggest difference, sir. I wonder who it is. What's going on here? This interview's over. The police! No, we didn't come here to arrest you. This will be an execution. I don't think you know who you're dealing with, miss. But I know that they'll be fishing your body from the Vistula tomorrow. You'll serve as an example to others. What took you so long? You set us up, you son of a Ruski bitch!
grateful and all, but why didn't you bother telling me you intended to bring the socialists here? There was no time in all this journalistic rush. Can we speak outside? I can't stay long. The police and the military will be here soon. Thank you for dropping by at the right moment. Remember that. What do you intend to do about those fanatics? This particular Hydra needs to have only one of its heads cut off. The rest will either kill or betray each other, or hide in fear. We'll see. Miss Vonda, how about a brief comment for the press? The Polish press. I promise to give you something to write about, Fagin. Tell me, W.S., in what words would you like to be described? I'd prefer it if Kmitids didn't mention me at all. As you wish. Who knows? Maybe it's the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I don't think so. Since we keep following one another around, maybe we should introduce ourselves. What are you talking about? I've got the impression that I've caught you gents' attention. I'm curious why. Don't you know where curiosity like that can get you? It'll cause you nothing but trouble. Okay, we all know how this ends, right? I predict that we'll end up beating each other black and blue, so... What a talented fortune teller!
I had no idea about this place. Hello, sweet secret. I think that's everything now. So, besides father, there were two more. A candy lover and a coffee lover. Konieczkin must have had one of them in mind. The one with the sweet tooth looks like a rabbi. I should look for him in the synagogue. The coffee lover, meanwhile. That's what I call you now. The doctor because you help rabbis and people the hospital is off limits to. Rebels and revolutionaries. Luckily, I know someone who matches the description. Maybe we'll find out what she needed that ammunition for. Come on, we'll be careful. Time to get some donuts out of the leads.
Tell me what brings you here. I'm looking for a particular man. He's a doctor and a thaumaturge. He treats people with rather radical views. Who do you mean? Us? Ammunition in your tights, lying low in cellars, the smell of Dutch pomade in your hair. I can sense letters, like P, P, and S here. I'm sorry. We don't betray our comrades to anyone who asks. So you do know one another after all? Who knows? How about this? I won't ask for anything else, but please, pass something on to him from me. Are you praying to an onion? Hush. What should I pass on to this doctor? Not bad. Not bad at all. Adulthood is like an onion. The more you try to separate it out into its basic parts, the worse it stings and makes you want to cry. Done. What can he make out of that? Cough syrup? Just pass it on to him. He'll know. You're peculiar. Anything else? I'll be off now. If I get an answer from the doctor, I'll let you know. Look after yourself. Hello. You said a month, two at most. I believed you. Then came the very first rain, and it was pouring in again. You fixed it, then the next rain. Soaked. I can't sleep because I have to keep emptying buckets. It's leaking just as badly as it was before. But the eyes of God are in every place, and they're watching. Rabbi, when I said two months, you said there was one hole in the ceiling, but the whole building is in shambles here. I can do it. Quiet. You can seal up your daddy's barn with straw. The roof is going to get holes because the foundations are crumbling. So, let's go down to the basement. Oh no, definitely not there. What's in the basement that's so frightening? Hashem, something down there reeks so awful that... Come now, don't be silly. Am I speaking to Rabbi Sofer? 
You see, all I got to do is mention these cellars and his name comes up. Would Hashem let a synagogue be haunted? Hey now, quiet. You're too late, I'm afraid. My name is Feldman. Rabbi Sofer departed this world almost a year ago. Forgive me, I have worldly matters to attend to. I understand, Rabbi. And if someone were to help you with these workers? In the words of the market woman trying to tempt a Jewish man into idolatry, what harm would it do? <laughs> I understand. Back up. God helps those who help themselves. But maybe you're right, Rabbi. Maybe Hashem is afflicting us, setting a test for us. You heard the guy talking about Sofer. The old man cursed this place, especially these cellars. So I'll go on my own, and show that Hashem protects me against curses in Hashem's domain. On your own. You can seal up your daddy's barn, right? Fine, let's go. You've gotten the better of me again, Hashem. Your tests still surprise me. But if this is your will, I think Hashem has sent you to me. Who are you? I'm the son of Stanisław Szulski. And I really need help. Let's go into my office. Let's show Hashem we accept the challenge. Please, tell me what problem brought you here. Maybe, Rabbi, you could tell me something about golems. Thaumaturge, golems belong to Kabbalah, and you're forbidden from knowing anything about them. It's a trap for a soul. There are tales of golems being summoned for revenge, or in good faith, for protection. But they all end rather badly. Rabbi Sofer puts a curse on my father. Unfortunately, it started affecting his children as well. A curse is a serious accusation, you know. I find it hard to believe Sofer would do such a thing. 
Do you think this has something to do with the golem? I don't know. Did the old rabbi perhaps leave some things here? May I take a look at them? Yes, here you are. All his books are here. I don't think I threw anything out. Is there anything else I can help you with? Rabbi, could you tell me something about Sofer? He was fair, but also difficult and very principled, like this city. Riots, provocations, pogroms, overpopulation. But if he's the one who inflicted the curse, he must have been a powerful thaumaturge and Kabbalist. Who can summon a golem? Normally, it's determined by need. The Kabbalist rabbi summons the golem himself, but other Jewish people can also entreat him to do so. In legends, the golem is a terrible punishment and a tool for meeting out divine justice. But I think it's an offense against Hashem, and revenge is no justice. How can I stop a golem? To summon it to life? You write the three Hebrew letters spelling MS, truth, on the clay that formed it. In an attempt to stop the monster, the heroes of these legends would erase the first letter from its clay body. That leaves mess, which means death. But I don't know how much truth is in that. Rabbi, could you help me understand something about Kabbalah? No. And I'll say no more on the subject. I fear for your soul. I'm afraid that I won't find anything more here. Thank you, Rabbi. Rabbi? I'm listening. Mordechai Chayat. Do you know that name, Rabbi? He owns one of the laundries here in Miruf, but I admit he doesn't really come to see me. Maybe there are other things I could be of more help with. I found a prescription belonging to the old Rabbi. Was something troubling him? He had heart problems. The local pharmacist would even bring him some kind of special medicine. What was that pharmacist called? Abraham Horowitz. But now his pharmacy is sitting empty. Let me guess. He's dead? Unfortunately. Some say that the socialists were involved. Others claim it was the Ochrana's doing. Let's keep talking, if you need to. I'll be off now. I'll pray for you.
talking nonsense! By Abraham's beard, that's the way it was. Did you hear about Praga? I'm at the harbor getting fish, and half the wharf is in splinters. They said there's even bodies. More bodies than they usually fish out of the Vistula. Practically every day. They were only just writing about Povishle. But listen to this. They're saying it's some giant did it all. You sure? Maybe I can help. Recently I've taken an interest in one of those. Leave us alone. Did you wander in here by mistake? You got some dirty laundry that needs cleaning, Mr. Shulsky. I was interested in this giant you mentioned to the fishmonger. I can't help you. Rabbis are the ones who deal with golems. I didn't say anything about a golem. I'm afraid I can't help you. And now, if you'd like... You were curious how my father died. Beneath the ruins of a building in Shrudmieszcze. That's awful. How did it happen? I'm glad you're asking. A remarkable death, isn't it? Yes. Let's have a word about your conflict with my father. There was no such thing. I have warm feelings for the store, and his father as well. Why did you quit working for my father? It was a mutual decision. I know that you and my father parted ways in bad terms. What happened? We both had difficult personalities, but I still remember him fondly. You're not telling me everything. I don't have to explain myself to you, Mr. Sholsky. I'm leaving now, but I can tell this won't be the last time we meet. Farewell. Is there something else you need? Let's talk about your relationship with my father. A tense relationship. Mr. Shulsky, I'll say it one more time. Stanislav and I didn't quarrel. Liar. Your anger still lingers around the photograph of my father. You're going to find it hard to hide anything from me. I'm not in the habit of speaking ill of the dead, Mr. Shulsky. Especially to their family. Old grudges drove us apart. Not all stains are easy to remove. Especially ones on a person's honor. And might they give you a reason to seek revenge? A motive? I can't summon golems if that's what you're getting at. But you know there is such a possibility. Is that all? I need to get back to work. I know about the pharmacist. Beg your pardon? All this is because Abraham Horowitz, isn't it? He lost his life, and the whole community felt it. Seems like you did most of all. I just don't get why Horowitz was so important to you. Community. Something you Shulskis don't know a thing about. Here, we take care of everyone equally. No one is more or less important than anyone else. 
Your father's punishment was fitting for his actions and his background. The wrath of the Jewish people. A death for a death. Was it worth it? A golem is a blunt instrument that kills and harms everyone in reach. What are you talking about? You wanted to teach my father a lesson, and you did. It's too bad innocent people died in the process. The building that collapsed on Stanislav, it was inhabited by people. Now all that's left of them are some damaged items. That's what happens every time the golem physically manifests. Random people lose their lives due to its untamed power. No, it can't be. It wasn't supposed to be that way. I don't think the punishment is adequate for the crime. Horovitz had something on his conscience. He must have, if both the Ohrana and the Socialists were interested in him. And what my father did, I can't believe I'm saying this, but his motives seem noble. Oh, do they? There's no trace of cruelty in his actions. He didn't do it for his own profit, but for some kind of greater good. Without any specifics, those are just words. My father and Sofer knew one another for years. Father knew the rabbi could be forced to create a golem if Horowitz was killed. They both took that risk. Sofer couldn't reveal that he knew Stanislav. He also knew that Horowitz had to disappear because he was a threat to too many people. To whom? That doesn't matter. You don't have anything to do with this, Mordehai. Just like I have nothing to do with my father's actions. I am connected to them only by my blood. What do you want? To get rid of the golem. Tell me something, anything that will get me closer to a solution. Instead of telling you, I'll show you. Where? Into an alley? Where some friend of yours will smack me around? To the synagogue. Are you coming? Yes. Let's go. We'll stop to get Feldman. He should see this too. So, no wonder the roof is leaking if the foundation is crumbling. A lovely metaphor, Hashem. But what happened here had nothing to do with Hashem. Did it? Mr. Shulsky wished to know the origin of his curse. This is where it took its shape. If I'd... 
Now I see it differently, but... But back then, when I was talking to Sofer, revenge and justice seemed one and the same. Revenge is no justice. It is always dictated by anger, and in anger, Eren comes easily. But Sofer agreed to it. He summoned the golem. What else do you want to know? There are a few things here I have to investigate. We'll wait. Will this take much long? What do you remember from the moment you summoned the golem? Nothing. I don't want to go back to that. Your memory takes shape and forms into words. Talk to me, Mordehai. <gasps> I feel cold. Cold from the clay seeps into my fingers, into my bones. But the Colossus I've been sculpting for hours is nearly ready. Sofer whispers the spell in Hebrew, but his words throb in my temples and soul. The Colossus comes to life and looks at me. What did Sofer say then? I don't... I don't know. Speak! I couldn't hear, I swear! I couldn't hear! Truly! Enough! I beg you! Enough! Your family and your blood deserved this curse! Enough! Ah, yet. How could Sofor have done something like this? And you, sir, how are you not ashamed? Maybe I've treated higher than fairly. You made him relive all that. That's torture. I wanted to know. Anything might help us get rid of the golem. Even so. This place won't tell me any more. And what have you learned? The hole you can't miss over there is the new door the golem smashed when it was summoned to life and no one saw anything. How is that possible? The clay formed a shell that Sofer infused with the Salutar. Hayal brought it and spent hours shaping the body of the golem. Hours? That must have been horribly exhausting. What's a few hours in exchange for a curse that lasts generations? These are the remains of some fabric that Sofer wrote something on, in Hebrew, I think. This might be some prayer, incantation, even a spell. There's not enough left to read anything. That's all, but I'm not any closer to a solution. I need someone like Sofer. A thaumaturge and a Kabbalist? Do you know one, Rabbi? Well, there is someone. Normally, I'd advise against contacting him, but after considering these extraordinary circumstances, and with trust in your choice of a path to lead me down, I'm compelled to reveal that it's Ariel Rofe. Of course. Do you know one another? 
Well, I know him well enough to suspect that he might not want to help me, but I'll look for him. Mercy rebuilds bridges. I think I know where Rafa would tell me to shove that. All right, I think it's time for us to go. This place just makes the blood boil. Shall we? Let's get out of here. Quiet this time. Bored? Then go ask that uniform what he's doing here. Or tell him to skidoo. Hey, fancy pants! Fuck off! Hang on, hang on. You lost? Officer? Hang on! It's the mama's boy of Shrudmeshche! They dubbed me the son of Shrudmeshche, if I remember correctly. Easy enough to check.
Hang on. That's enough. You? You're the son of a bitch of Shrutmeshe. I'm looking for Ariel Rofe. All right, I don't know. Just tell him something. Take a look at Ruzhitsky Bazaar. He has got this sort of geschäft there. Thanks. They're right to call this place the dungeon.
That wasn't too hard. Where do you think you're going, pretty boy? I'm looking for someone. They say he's got a business here. Do the smart thing and hit the road. Go on, fuck off. Am I wrong, or are you guarding a closed butcher's store? This is Ariel Rofa's Geschäft, right? I'll check you the hell out in a minute, and we'll be done. You talk just like the friend I'm looking for. I'm asking you nicely, capisce? Bid it. I'm looking for Ariel Rofe. Then you can double fuck off, you fucking dunk off. You'll attract more attention with that shouting. Buzz off before I get my club. You're not gonna tell me how to do my job, you flip it and raggedy sort. Bid it. But I know Ario's got his hideout here. I even know which copper's hands he greases. I don't know about no bribes, you provo... Provo... Tor... Provo... <clears throat> Provocateur? Fuck off. I swear, I know this is Ariel's hideout. Know how to read? It says butcher's shop. Sure, it's extra kosher, because there's no meat at all in there. Come on, every bomb at Ruzic reeks of booze from this place. And when they come here, I'll tell them to fuck off. Please, I just want a word with Ariel. Oh goodness, how come he's still standing here mouthing off at you? It's me, Viktor. Shulski, I remember. Fuck off. So, should I give him what for, boss? Do what you want. I'll be right back. But Ogras, maybe don't take on the son of Shrutmiestia on your own, yeah? I'll call you a priest if you want.
might leave him be. I'm sorry. Come on, Shulsky. Let's get out of sight. But if anything starts shaking, I'll shoot you. Don't stare. That way. This whole butcher's shop is a cover, right? None of your business. Sit down. Tell me why you're bothering me. How exactly did you find me? A very inventive hiding spot. And a nice place. We've got our own little store here with different varieties. I'm just doing my best to unload it efficiently. Don't waste my time. It wasn't such a huge challenge. Who squealed? There are traces all over the dungeon. You're not being very careful. If you want something out of me, you better get to the ass-kissing part. Say what you want. Why do they call that Bruiser Oguras? He's got a green pecker from untreated pox with these little bumps like on those little cocktail gherkins. I hope he gets well soon. I'll pass that on. That everything? I've got a certain problem and I'd like to get rid of it quickly. Is it made of clay and weighs two tons when it shows up? So you got sick of running back and forth across Kervich Bridge? I'm not going to pretend I understand. Golems aren't great at swimming, remember? Since it's following you, going across a bridge would force it to... Forget it. I can see why you can't deal with it on your own. I need the knowledge of a Kabbalist. Your knowledge. I think I have at least a few reasons to say no, don't I? The main one is the death of my business partner and best friend. I didn't know a golem was after me. You shouldn't have shown up at the dungeon that day at all. You shouldn't have taken that job. I don't have time, Ariel. We both know that only you can help me. You can keep tormenting me, but are you going to tell me something or not? I can torment you and tell you. A golem is a salutor like any other, but housed in a physical form. Why do you attract it and bind it in the same way? The difference being that it's following blood first and the flaw second. But first, you have to deprive the golem of its physical body. The shell in which the salutor is housed. You also need to know where the ritual was conducted, because that's the only place you can do it. Good luck. So, apart from my family's blood, the golem is attracted to my initial flaw, right? Initial? So how many have you got? I've got plenty. I have a really handsome number of salutors. You're lying. You'd have lost your mind. If you say so. I know the place the golem was summoned. The basement of Nozick Synagogue. So, so far managed to do it? How can I get rid of that clay shell it has? You can't. For that you need a Kabbalist. Moi. I know the incantation for the Barur ritual. What? 
instructions for reversing the evil eye, cleansing body and soul, and hiding from the unwanted, but why should I explain them to you? I'm guessing this will cost me something. Money? A favor? A further humiliation? We'll see. Thank you. So we're going into the basement of a synagogue, where you'll use Kabbalah to strip the golem of its physical form, right? Then I'll bind it and free myself from its curse? Not quite. The golem is mine. What do you need the golem for? None of your business. You want revenge. That's very sentimental if you think about it. Another word, and you'll be looking for a new Kabbalist. Over my dead body. Very possibly. But as you said, you've got a lot of salutors. This one won't make a difference to you. And you'll never hear me say, fuck off, again. And what about my flaw? If I lose my initial flaw, I'll lose contact with my initial salutor, right? Could be yes, could be no. I don't know. Wanna find out? No. Unless you've got a long line of relatives with flaws? I've got a sister, twin, but I don't know if Ligia carries a flaw. You'd better find out if you want to get rid of the golem. Then go back to your sister and find out if she carries a flaw. All right, I'll bring her here. Maybe she'll be better off without the flaw. I'm not here to heal your conscience. You're one cold son of a bitch. Let's wrap this up. We've got a deal. Ah. A toast? A very successful batch. We haven't shipped everything out yet. This won't make me go blind, will it? The risk is part of the fun. I'll risk it. Let's get this over with. Godspeed. Find that flaw of Ligia's.
Not now, Victor. I don't have time. We have to talk about the Golem. I know how to stop it now. You know what to do? Tell me. Do you trust me, sister? I trust you. And I'm glad that you're here with me. Even if uh, it's not always easy. I found out that you can only call off a golem in the place where it was made. It was summoned in the synagogue. How do you know that? I'm a thaumaturge. Quit bragging. Just tell me what comes next. Do you know what a flaw is? Kind of, but Papa didn't tell me too much about his abilities. A flaw is a hidden stamp that sometimes defines our behavior or even our lives. It's formed in the subconscious and centers around the things that matter most to us. It might be the memory of something tragic or shocking from the past, or something that takes us over completely, obsessively. If you were to tell me the one thing in your life that matters most, what would it be? Where's this coming from? My family. And you, too, so, of course. Mm -hmm. Now, seriously this time. All right, I'm sorry. I'm putting you second. Work comes first. I want to work hard and honestly, and I want to be respected for it, not have fingers pointed at me. And so it will be. I don't doubt you've got that certain something inside you. I will. And thank you for opening up to me. And good luck. Thank you. I meant the people who stand in your way. Thank you. I have to poke around here a little more. If you need it. Now, Victor, I don't have time. I need you. We must end it. Together. You sound serious. What's going on? Today, the curse placed on Father will lose its power. But we have to get going. Are we going down into the synagogue basement? Ariel Rofa is already waiting for us. He's the one needing this whole thing. Do I know him? I sincerely hope not. He's not a suitable companion for you. Oh, now I'm dying of curiosity. There's no time. <laughs> How exciting. I, I feel 10 years old again. Darling sister, here in person, you clearly are of the same blood. We have nearly everything ready, I see. I don't think we've met. Ligia Szulska. Ariel Rofer, the pleasure is mine. Mr. Rofer, 
This is everything I've been able to find. The candles are placed where you command it. Fine. Oh, good evening, Mr. Shulsky. And you must be dear Ligia Shulska. My regards. The mademoiselle looks pale. Do you feel all right, my lady? Yes, sure. Victor, I need a pound of flesh, and it's up to you whose body it comes from. Victor, what's going on? What's he talking about? Are you scared? I'm not afraid of anything. Are you? Never. You mustn't fear. Then let's do it. Tell me how I can help you. You've already helped me plenty. Enough chit-chat. Since everything's ready, let's get to work. How do you get rid of the golem's physical form? There's an old ritual. It's called the bearer. It's a sifting ritual. The incantation allows us to sift out the demonic part from the rest of the creature. It also helps with cases of possession. Good to know. By the way, your father must have really gotten under Sofa's skin. My father had that effect on people. This ritual, are you sure it's safe? Just trust me, as I trust you'll keep your word. I won't touch a hair on your sister's head. I'm here, Mr. Rofa. And aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Let's begin. Don't mess this up. I'll do my best. Won't it come? Patience? Feldman, more faith! Yit Kadash, Yit Kadash Shimiraba. I take her flaw, you get rid of the golem, and we're quits. Sorry, friend. Not this time. You bastard!
so threatening now, are you? Even Ganaths have more honor. Fuck off. I said the Golem is staying with me after all. Fuck off! Enough! Stop! Both of you! Not here! You're lucky, Sholsky. That's enough, Mr. Rofer. You'll be looking over your shoulder for the rest of your life. Let's get your sister to a safe place. I'll call a carriage. What happened? How did I get here? Feldman helped me bring you here. He just left. He told me to say hello. That was kind of him. What about the golem? Now we're safe from the curse of Satanisław. The golem is mine now. And what about my flaw? I took it for myself. So you cheated, Ariel Rofe. I did it for you. Huh. Sounds like something Papa would say. What? It looks like you tricked him and me for your own purposes because you thought you knew better. And now, we might be back in danger. You'd better get some rest. Without the floor, you don't seem like yourself. You'd better watch what you say. Mr. Shulsky, there's a young lady to see you. I'll serve tea in the drawing room. I won't stay long. There's no need. Thank you, Grazenka. A nice house, a spot of tea, a housekeeper. When the revolution comes, everything here will go up in smoke. Did he say anything? You know what? He confirmed my belief that thaumaturges are freaks. Thank you, Vanda. I'm glad I could help. I've got an appointment with Michal. Give my best to your fiancé. He hasn't proposed yet. Will the young lady be visiting us more often? It's not like that. Don't let your imagination run away with you, Grazemka. Oh, right.
You arrived just in time, young master. I was about to lock the door because the lecture started. What lecture? Mistress Ligia, she's so ambitious, is active in this floating school. She doesn't want anyone flying away from her lecture. Ask her, master. Mr. Shulsky. Welcome. Your sister agreed to make your home the venue for this meeting of the Flying University. Will you stay for the lecture? I would never expect to see such crowds in this house. That's true. A nice change. What is this lecture? It's the next lecture in the series dedicated to the economic aspect of the women's question. You could benefit from hearing it. Who are the students of such an illegal university? I believe they are the future. These days we also get applications from gentlemen, although originally the initiative was focused on education for women. Ligia is one of our priceless speakers. Oh, Samuel, please. Maybe you'd like to experience yourself what it is we do. Wouldn't you like to host our lecture today? Me? A lecture? On what? Perhaps you can enlighten us on the topic that is best known to you, but to the rest of the world still remains a... Uh, Terra incognita. You mean thaumaturgy? I know there are those among our students who'd sell their souls to hear you speak. Well, would you be willing to take up this task then? It's not a challenge for him to talk about himself, right? Agreed. I'll do it. I'll be much obliged. Can we begin? I need another moment. I still have some preparations to do. What do you need? I should make use of some props to better illustrate the theory with examples. I'll see if there are any curiosities in the study that I could use. You'll see. My brother won't disappoint you. We are waiting. Impatiently. If I come in disguise, someone may begin to, well, suspect something. I thought as much. Let us now look for some things I could talk to the students about.
I have a few skeletons in my closet. Mr. Victor, I'm sorry, I couldn't not look in here. I am in awe of this entire house. And what have you found to be most to your liking here, miss? I don't think I could pick just one thing. I think what fascinates me the most is that every mundane object can have a second highly magical purpose concealed just beneath the surface. That's true. I wanted to discuss it during the lecture. I can hardly wait. Have you been to other rooms as well, miss? What do you mean? Someone snooped around my bedroom. Are you up to something with a mysterious partner again? Mr. Shulsky, I resent that. I didn't come into anyone's bedroom. Who do you think I am? I'll wait downstairs. I don't want anyone to misconstrue this situation as inappropriate. Yes, sir.
And he walked across the entire town like that, with all that cocoa. And here he is. I hear you were quite the mischievous youth. I'm afraid the list of my offenses might be too long. Grazinka, should I be worried? Why, of course not. No, we were just discussing childhood mischief and the Coco incident. Yes, I can't deny that one. Do you have other interests than Coco and Thaumaturgy? Travel? Cards? I'm sure Grazinka will tell you everything. All your secrets are safe with me, young master. In that case, I won't keep you any longer. See you, Mr. Shosky. And now this place on top of everything. Someday it will be enough to stick one foot out the door to get locked up. And we all know who will get us locked up. Hello. New student. Indeed, I'm today's speaker, Viktor Shulski. Will you teach us how to cast spells? I wouldn't want to preempt the facts. I am intrigued. Who was this vigorous discussion about then? About Polina Nikolaevna? Indeed. It's probably our little Russian girl who's making all this trouble for us. I don't know why Dickstein doesn't see that. To me, it's obvious that she's the snitch. Do you have anything to support such accusations? It's obvious, isn't it? It's the Russian girl. Why are you not suspicious of your friend who was arrested? His father fought in the uprising. He wouldn't snitch. Place of birth is hardly enough to determine whether someone is a traitor and a snitch, wouldn't you agree? And someone with your skills should already know everything, wouldn't you agree? All in good time. Have a nice lecture. Break a leg. Hello. Mr. Shulski, one friendly face in a crowd. You are giving today's lecture, right? You seem troubled, miss. Is everything all right? Besides the finger pointing and backbiting, you mean? Quite all right, yes. Quite. Allow me to be so bold and point out that you look somewhat troubled, miss. Can thaumaturgists read minds? I think everything will become clear during the lecture. Yes, well, I'm waiting. Please excuse me, I'll take my leave. I hope you enjoy today's lecture, miss. Uvidimsia. Victor? Regarding the lecture, can we start? I think we can begin. I'm certain that this will be an exceptional meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a unique opportunity to broaden not only the spectrum of our academic knowledge, but also to delve into the knowledge that goes beyond that spectrum. Today, our host will reveal to us the secrets of his power from the borderline between science and magic. Viktor Sulski, if you would. I would like to tell you more about the purpose of the items I have prepared for today. I think we all know what a comb is used for. 
I think we should start with what you think thaumaturgy is. Here, we have three apparently ordinary items. However, there's more to each of them than you might think. This mask was made more than a thousand years ago. My father brought it from Africa in 89. However, you can see that the deity it depicts has many similarities to the Slavic salutar Veles. Are you saying that people can see salutars? Supposedly, people who are very sensitive, spiritual, or well inebriated can experience the presence of a salutar, as long as one is around. Well, the lecture is over. Let's go to the London bar and summon some demons. Where do salutars come from? No one knows. This particular question remains unanswered. How convenient. We know that these beings have always been with us, just like the people who were granted the power. We coexist, but we do not know what rules govern this coexistence. Let us move on to the other items. On my father's comb, apart from the dandruff, Disgusting. There's also a memory, which I can easily read. This particular one concerns father's frustration caused by his developing baldness. And do we have any influence on what exactly will remain on the item? Thaumaturges freely communicate intentions this way. Secrets, messages, and so on. Practical. Let us not get ahead of the facts. I will cover it more extensively in a moment. In that case, do you also talk to the dead? I'm sometimes visited by Stanisław Szulski, for reasons unknown to me. However, that is hardly spiritualism. Rather, it is a testament to my father's stubbornness. I bet you're afraid of sleeping alone. Let us move on. I would like to remind you that time is... Can we see a practical demonstration? This book was written in 1666. It was published solely to provoke a fear of thaumaturges. In the Middle Ages, people like me were burned at the stake and condemned for heresy. Judging from the new Governor General, history is about to repeat itself. The things that Skaon is saying, they're becoming scary. Fear never helps with anything. If worse comes to worst, you will have to oppose it. Sure. Can't you use the power to make someone change their mind, their way of thinking? With the help of the Salitors, I can bend people to my will. But the effect never lasts long, and not every one of these people has potential. That's enough theory. Let's move on to the practical part now. Can you help me with a small experiment, miss? With pleasure. Miss, can you give me a coin? I promise to give it back. Excellent. Let us focus on you then, Mr. Zilia. Please go ahead. Your fascination with thaumaturgy is 
intense. And there's a reason for it. Well... Contrary to how it may be perceived by outsiders, it is not the desire to impress a certain thaumaturge. Rather, it is a professional quest to find answers to questions yet unexplored. Miss wants to be the first. Thank you, sir. One more thing. You promised to explain something to us during the practical section. That section is now, right? What I've just presented to you is the thaumaturge's skill of perception, which means reading that which is hidden. However, in order for perception to be useful, something must first be inscribed in an item. Right. And if someone doesn't have the power, but focuses on the message, will they be able to inscribe what they want? Well, it doesn't hurt to keep trying, right? Fascinating. Thank you for this truly enlightening lesson. At the same time, it pains me to say that it's time to end it. Do you have to end it now? I have to be mindful of safety, not only of the students, but also of our hosts. Return safely and uh, forget that you are here. Can I have a word with you, Mr. Shulsky? Please indulge me. Thank you, and congratulations on an amazing lecture. The pleasure is all mine. I think you've caused me to discover a new talent in myself. Thank you. I will not endanger you any longer. Until our next meeting, I hope. Certainly. Have a good night, someone. Be careful. Have a good night, someone. Be serious. Do you have a moment? For you, always. I need your help. Again. And I won't turn you down. See? This is your inevitable, cruel end. the command. From now on, you will obey me.
Assalamu alaikum. Welcome. I'm not used to getting such a welcome from others. Usually, they go charging straight into my head. That's not very polite in my view. One ought to introduce oneself first. Emir Bernokovich Fulge. Are you alone? I've taken care of them. Good. Thank you for the onion. Thank you for the fork. It's impossible to ignore an invitation magically inscribed on an onion. How can I help you? What is a fauge? That's what we Tatars call thaumaturges. I'm a healer, a fortune teller, and a doctor. Is something ailing you? I'm looking for the Black Grimoire. After my father died, it went missing. What do you need another spell book for? I want the knowledge he might have written in it. You're inexhaustible, like him. Get to the point. As you wish. Enough beating around the bush. In this place, we can talk openly and take all the time we need. But mind that lying may cost you dearly. Who told you I have the Black Grimoire? I overheard something on a walk by the river. Don't veil yourself. The Grimoire. My patience is running short. Suffer is dead. You're the only one left. Give the grimoire back. This is the last time I'm asking. Stanislav used to tell me you were really sick and nearly lost your mind. How did you manage to get through all that? Grigory Yefimovich Rasputin cured me. How? As far as I can tell, he used hypnosis on me, and he still peeks into my head from time to time. Do you trust him? He hasn't betrayed my trust so far. Is Rasputin a thaumaturge? I don't think so. I'd have noticed that. Do you know any other thaumaturges from Warsaw? Yes, I know two more. That's enough. I don't have the Black Grimoire, and I've never had it. You've got enormous potential, but you're not yet reaching it. Is speaking the truth not in such demand anymore? I'm not looking for an honest thaumaturge, just a powerful one. underestimated you. 
Before we part, permit me to make a certain proposal. I want to rebuild the Coterie with your participation. Why do you want to resurrect it? I'll tell you why you want this. Because there are ways of strengthening the potential of one Thaumaturge using the potential of many. You'll soon learn. I trust that now you're intrigued. It sounds tempting. I'll think it over. That's enough for me for the time being. But take my advice. When you leave here, go to the one who healed you. I sense he has many secrets. We all do, don't we? Yes, but his secrets might be dangerous and might thwart your plans. Be careful. You seem happy. What's going on? Saturday. That's what's going on. I'm pretty sure today's not Saturday. Live your life like every day was Saturday. Listen, we've got a job coming our way just like in the good old days. You, me, and beating up some thugs. Interested? I know you are. Tell me, what kind of action have you got coming up? There's this guy, Kafar, from Ruzitz. The bastard thinks he can mess with the left bank. He and his people seized one of mine, Max. Said he owed them. He got away, but there's still bad blood. I thought I might explain a thing or two to Kafar. So, shall we go there? Why don't the shivs deal with it? You offer an adventure to strengthen the bond in good faith, and this is how he treats you. I love my boys, and don't tell them that, but you've got to be nifty here and know some magic. Come to Ruzitz with me. You have my grimoire. Yes, that's what I like to hear. Come on, let's show Kafar we mean business. I won't have anyone going after my people for some imaginary debts. Look how beautiful it is. The babble of fishwives, the cursing of longshore men, and there, marshmallows are being cut on the chopping block. Oh, and there my dad used to have a stall. Well, never mind. Where do we find that wise guy? There, in a shack in the southeast. His people usually stand by the entrance. Let's go then. But you go with the ships and lock Ruzitz so that Kafar knows this is serious. And so that none of those bastards get away. I can't let you stick your neck out for me, boss. Not just me. It won't be the first time we beat on some knaves with Victor. We have some experience in getting rid of wicked men. And bigger ones, too. Lone sharks. The whole town was in Mieszko Setsemin's pocket. Everyone was afraid to look him in the eyes. But not me, and not Victor. We rid worse of that scumbag. So don't you worry. Kafar is a piece of cake for us. Go on, close the gates. 
on it, boss. Today, my dear Victor, we will embark on a sentimental journey. A long, long time ago in the Mermaid City lived a brute, the leader of 40 thief grafters, keeping order at Ruritz. Let me guess, we are the righteous warriors who will teach him a lesson, right? You know it. We are some helpful bastards, aren't we? You seem to be in awfully good mood. Well, sure. It's just like the old days, isn't it? You and me against the world. Old pals pledge their loyalty, their voices like a sling projectile. Besides, the Ruzitz lads are really fun to smack around. Oh wait, speak of the devil. Here they are. Let the fun begin. What do you think you're doing? Closing the gates, kicking up a shindy? You shouldn't show up here, Nijits. Yes, I know. You're intimidated by the sight of an intellectual. It's time to write the first chapter of today's tale on these ruddy mugs. I will call it The Pilgrim and the Poet K. Truly exquisite. Can you smell the aroma of Madeleine wafting through the air? When you smack the tallest one, I almost shed a tear. And this is just chapter one. Time for chapter two? Sure thing. And we can do anything we want in it. It just has to end with us paying Kafar a visit. After all, I'm on official business here. This is our time, Victor. And time is like a little partridge, running fast as fuck. We need to take advantage of that. Follow me. One scum queen awaits in a tower. Lead the way.
Hold on, scumbags. I'm talking to you. What did we do to deserve that kind of treatment from the authorities? Authorities? What authority? He's just the corrupt copper. You must have a death wish, you lice-ridden mongrel. Lovely. Another one to be made into mincemeat. Let's go, Victor. Although, upon careful consideration, the process won't help much in this case. Oi! Let me just... Get out of here, bastards! Unfortunately, that's impossible. You see, my friend and I have embarked on a sentimental journey. That's right. It takes us to our old stamping grounds. And we're having fun just like we did in our childhood days. That crap makes my ears bleed. Let's not waste words, Victor. It's time to do the laundry. Chapter 2, The Pilgrim and the Poet Song. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. What are you joshing for? Nijits, this ain't your turf. Why the hell did you come here raising a stink? Get out of our way, Plebeian. Wait, how about it? Take a look at him. Doesn't he look like... Samson the Thug! 
The same beady eyes are straying in search of reason. What did you say? You look like a hothead from way back who stood in our way. Shall we do the same as we did with the other one? We're from the Franciscan Sisters to see the Honorable Mr. Kafar, whose generosity is widely known on both sides of the Vistula. We're collecting money for a wooden figure of Christ by the puppet maker Geppetto. We're going to raise money together once his oak limbs come to life. What? Is there such a puppet maker? Fuck, I can't keep my countenance like I used to. You can't talk to this idiot. I'll get you for this. Kafar, you fucker. Nyejits, you snitch. You always drop in unannounced. Did you hear that? A lone shark calls me a snitch? The scumbag. Next time, I'll send you a note. I want you to stay the fuck away from my people, especially Max. And what are you going to do? I've got a reputation here. You'd best shut your trap and bark up a different tree. He's going to get his trap smacked. Let's get him. Listen, maybe this time we can use our heads. As it happens, Kafar has a small intoxicating secret. What do you mean? We're not going to shoot the scumbag. Then our sentimental journey won't be complete, and I will have to rewrite the final chapter. Kafar is afraid that his sugar smuggling will be exposed. He does it behind the manager's back. You've really impressed me now, Victor. Well, magic bitch, you're not so tough now, are you? And who's going to believe you, fancy boy? 
Get out of here. So how about we fuck him up? Let me show you one more trick. Chapter 3. You can see yourself in an expensive frock coat, surrounded by stallkeepers who show you favor and respect. They stare at you like dogs. How delusive it is. One word about your sugar, and it all bursts like a bubble. You've got nothing. Humiliated, defeated, you rot in the oblivion. It's all lost. No! So many years of effort, kissing the manager's ass, squabbling with those bastards from Rojitz. I can't make it in jail. Unless... All right, all right, Mr. Nijitz. Whatever you want. I've already forgotten about Max. All squared up? I think we can work it out. Well, this is what I call a happy ending. We beat up a few thugs, and we taught them a lesson. Well, if that was an evil deed, then the Tsarist government would have arranged war so differently. The Lone Shark is defeated, and justice prevails eventually. Although I hope we would shoot him. But the magic tricks are fine too. I wish I had been able to do all that magic stuff 15 years ago. Do you think that if you had charmed Tsetsemin back then, Satanisov wouldn't have sent you away? If the loan shark hadn't died, you wouldn't have ended up in the street and your father in jail. But if you hadn't gone, you wouldn't be the thaumaturge you are now. Damn it, Victor, I wouldn't be myself either. You better tell me why it was my dad who swung for it, not us. Honestly. We came back, Satanyuswav took you into his office for questioning, and then what? Father never raised his voice. I wished he had screamed and been mad at the time, but all he did was talk. From time to time, Bald Barrett would show up and look at me. I thought I would die that day. Then I heard your father would answer for the lone shark's death, and you and I would get away with it. Stanislav told me to pack and take this gun with me, to remind me that it wasn't just the lone shark who lost his life that day. Right. My dad would rot in jail, and yours had to sell antiques. You don't know everything. My father was forced to let one rat inside his home. Ivan Konechkin. No shit! Satanisov snitched to the Ochrana? That's tough! Do you think your old man was right to expel you? Now I understand that he mostly wanted to protect me and Nigia. There was nothing I could do about the choice he made. Fuck. He made a choice for me and my dad, too. Do you think your father would rather have had you go to jail? No, no. I can see what you mean. Even a bastard like Satanisov would protect his children at any cost. Never mind. Each of us had his share of suffering. And now, we're here drinking vodka as winners. Kings of life, lords of death. I have to admit that this is some quality vodka. Agreed. It burns the throat like the urge to sing sonnets. It hits the head like... inspiration. Where did you get it? Tastes like Ruzitska. You know, the booze from the butcher's shop. I know, so it's kosher. Victor, what do you think about me? Really? I think you're my friend. What? You still trust me even after I had you kidnapped? 
Are you an idiot? I'm kidding. I'd follow you into a fire, brother. But don't tell it to my lads or they'll get jealous. But enough talking for now. Let's drink. To friendship, Victor. To being squared up. What are you doing here? Vanitas vanitatum et omnia vanitas. Your father was a great man. Where did that thought come from? I can see clearly what a great influence he had on your life, Victor. We both know how much you wanted to be his equal. That's possible. Maybe I didn't want to admit it, even to myself. Maybe you know me better than I know myself. It's as if you've been inside my head. You didn't answer my question. What are you doing here? We're on the boundary of two worlds. Amid human ashes, this is a wonderful place to contemplate the future. Your father considered himself Polish. Your mother was Russian. And you grew up in France. Who are you, Victor? And what about you? Who are you, Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? Me? Above all, I am an acolyte of Christ himself, whose path I know and wish to follow. I'm not as lost as you. And what about the rest of the flock? The people around you, you've gathered them, us, intentionally. Everyone has a goal. We're only yet another stopover on someone's journey. And sometimes our paths lead in the same direction. Mine leads to the court of Nikolai Romanov. I need to save the Tsarevich because I believe that only then can we have a future. I can help him. Do you believe me? Yes, I believe because you helped me. I know that. Think what we can achieve, Victor, if you just come with me. Think about how the Tsar will look upon all thaumaturges then. 
if one of them saves his heir. Do you see now? It all sounds lovely, but how would we achieve this ambitious goal? Together, Victor. Together. And all in good time. You'll just have to believe we can do it. Do you believe? I'm with you. Perfect. Now our journey is really beginning. Just remember, there's no turning back. Let's not waste time. Let's go pray, ideally at the Orthodox Church of St. Mary Magdalene. Ready? We'll meet later. You know where to look for me. Don't keep me waiting long. A chance like this does not come along very often. Can we go? The church is waiting. Fine, let's go. Finally. Victor, it's about to start. Strange. I don't remember the way here. Not at all. Should I be nervous, friend? This terrifies me. Quiet there! You're not in a barn! The Patriarch Kiru will soon begin an exorcism on a certain boy. I know that you and Kiro have a past. Why are we here, of all places? Not in the least. Remember, revenge is foreign to me, Victor. It's not about Kirill. Though if by chance he trips up today, that would make me immeasurably happy. Unlike Kirill, I really do want to heal a boy who is suffering. The people must understand that I am the truth. And what then? Then, all that's needed is for what happens here to reach the right ears. Off to the market with you! Don't bother folks here! Now I would like you to look around and determine how to prepare the miracle of healing. Go now. I'll go take a look around. Go, but don't waste time. I felt something. Where is it?
We're running out of time, Victor. What have you got for me? I'll go. To go. Yushka, can we please start? Patience, daughter, and humility. Keep praying. You're back after all. You'll soon see the power of God. Hey, you. Why did you harm Cartafelli? He said it really hurts now. I didn't mean to. I didn't. I was angry. Papa didn't come back from the war. I know you destroyed a holy image. Do you want to go to hell? N no. I got scared. Mama? Is he your son? Why did you bring him here? What business is it of yours? The devil needs to give my son back. He's got me scared to sleep under my own roof. Why? He won't shut up about phantoms, and he lies and makes stuff up. And he holds and holds. But Yushka, faster, have mercy. Hey, you... I've heard you are a liar. No, I don't lie. That's not true. And that you scare your mama making things up. Not true. I want to go home. Don't get close to him. It's the devil speaking through him. He'll tell you anything to save himself. We're running out of time, Victor. What have you got for me? I've learned the boy carries a flaw. Perfect. And what's next? Maybe it's what's making him upset. If I took it away... But Kiro told me to move away before it opened completely. Don't dwell on it. It's good news. Let's get closer to God. Especially since it's a little too loud here. Thanks be to God. They're going somewhere else to talk. Princeps Miliete Calias des defende nos in Proelio. Down with the evil spirit. I drive you out in the name of Christ. Priest! Leave that child alone! You stand in defense of Satan! He's not a child, he's a devil! Mama! 
You're causing a child unnecessary suffering. He needs a different kind of help. True help. My help. Quiet, don't scream. I'm not going to do anything to you. Mama! Mama! Help! you as I do. That only means one thing. Hey, don't cry, all right? How about we talk? Have you ever seen a ghost or a monster? One like him? Once. One was in the wardrobe, the other in the kitchen. I'm scared of them. Have you told anyone about this? My mama and the priest. Am I going to hell? Calm down, everything's all right. No one's taking you to hell. I see ghosts too. Sometimes they even help me. Why did God do this to us? Doesn't he like us? <laughs> God isn't the one who thinks we're bad. It's the people who don't have our power. They don't understand us, so they're afraid. And that makes them angry. Will this take much longer? Kirill is about to declare me anathema. How can it be that he's crying here? I destroyed his childhood. He's a thaumaturge. I didn't know that earlier. Do you see yourself in him? Do you want to help him because no one helped you? What will happen to me now? Well, Victor, we're running out of time. What will happen to him now? I decided that I'll transfer his floor to myself. <laughs> You're mercifully taking something from him for your own benefit. Listen. Are you taking me to my mama? We're about to go back to your mama and she will take you home. You won't see monsters anymore, and your mama won't get mad at what you say. Deal? Yes. now, isn't it? It's a miracle. Thank you. With all my heart. Shimon shares his name with the name of the greatest of Christ's apostles. And you wanted to drive Satan out of him. That's blasphemy. So say I, Grigory Yefimovich Rasputin. The man you betrayed, Judas. We have made the words of God into an instrument for our own gain. Made sacred temples into a vanity fair. Satan exists. 
and he is here today among us. But not in this small, defenseless boy I have just cured. This evil runs rampant through our homeland, driving our great nation toward a precipice. It's time to stand against this. Let us be strong in spirit. That is the only way we can defeat Satan. Down with traitors! Hey, you! The devil with the book! You damn magician! I'm talking to you! Hang on now. My cousin was recently telling me about a fella like that who was in the lockup in Śródmieście. Victor, do you need help? I won't say no. Looks like it'll be useful. What was that you said, officer? See you're in over your head, officer. Because these are wizards come. It's not a fair fight with them. Enough! You and you. Get them. But 
Save your powers for later. They'll come in handy. Let's go. Mihal, leave him alone, bastard! Geroy, you're coming with us too. Although they could have left me a coat, it's chilly here. They're going to kill us. We'll get out of this. I wonder how. Do you know anyone who's gotten out of the citadel? First, the Ochrana will grill us, then it'll be out to the prison yard. Hey, kid, look at me. Vanda will spring us from here, we just have to give her time. Have you learned to whistle yet? And remember, we were at mass. We don't know anything, got it? Unlike him. And now you're going to tell me exactly what happened inside the church. How is Vanda meant to help you? I'm sure Vanda and our folks have already got the Citadel under watch. We don't leave our own behind. Don't change the subject. What about the church? I did what I had to. The boy at the exorcism turned out to be a thaumaturge. And? I took away his gift. Now he'll have a normal life. Normal? I don't think so. Not here. I got the urge to pray, and I could have been having a beer at Berg's. Jan Bialek! No. <laughs> Please, no. Here! That's me! You've gotta get him out of here, you understand? He's not even 16. I hope Vanda was right about you. Bialek, you're coming with me. Tell her not to miss me. And you, practice that whistling. You think he'll come back? Pankratz is going to be so happy when he sees you. Who's going to feed him now? Poor Pankratz, he'll starve to death. They're going to kill us here. Where are you from? From here. I live with my grandfather in Praga. He fought in the January Uprising. He raised me after my father died. I wanted to make him proud. And that's why I joined. Our faults. My father is dead too. Is he? Mine died of whooping cough. He worked in a factory and everyone got sick there. We are going to die here too. A building fell on mine. What a bourgeois way to die. Yes, I was born into money. But money doesn't bring you happiness. The greatest lie that we tell poor people. 
Even so, believe me, my life wasn't as much of a fairy tale as you'd imagine. My best friend's father was in debt to a dishonest loan shark, and we wanted to help. I think we were younger than you. And what happened? We went to see him with my father's gun, the one I carry with me. And what? It went off. The lone shark died on the spot. My father handed me some suitcases and a ticket and said never to come back. So he sorted it out. Sounds like a good father. Maybe you're right. A little. Shulski! Your turn. See you. How touching. Move your ass. That was disappointing. Did you know him? I see. Really? I can see you're still using it. I remember how it ended the story of a particular loan shark. Tell me anything of value. Then, I'll be able to find a way to help you. I wouldn't want the dredges to pull you out of the Vistal afterward, like Svetlana Petrovna. Next question. What were you doing in the church? Leave us alone. I don't need to introduce you to. Ready? I know everything that I could read from his objects. What are you expecting? Results. Find out what he did in the church and where his father's friends are. As you wish, sir. Let's not drag this out. Good to see you. We need to talk. Let's talk, but I guarantee you won't like it. Greetings from inside your head. I intend to make myself at home here. Are you still mad at me about Veles? We're not thinking about me now. You won't trick me here, and you won't escape either. Save your energy. Think about the church and who you were there with. A Batyushka who sees the devil everywhere is no surprise. Strange company for a thaumaturge. You're terrible at choosing friends. I'm looking for the right people. I was looking for you. We had a rough start, and I'm still not your friend. Yet. You've got nothing that would redeem your guilt. Samira, focus now. It's suicide. 
Konyechkin is a determined, vengeful bastard, and he has people everywhere. I'd sooner tear off your head like he wants than take a risk like that. What is this supposed to be? The Thaumaturge Mutual Aid Society. This sounds like a criminal gang. Who else is in it? Farjay, I haven't heard of this person before. That speaks well of him. Who else? Is that Ariel person? He's the most malicious thaumaturge west of the Vistula. You two will get along. Who else? Don't play games with me. All right. All right. What? Let's get out of here. That's what you want, after all. I'll help you, but you're taking me with you. You know this place. How can we get out safely? It's dawn. We'll just walk out through the main gate. If you soldier shouldn't be a problem for you. I'm not leaving here without my father's grimoire. I'm convinced Konyechkin has it. That's right. It's in his study. Two floors up. Just don't dawdle. Go. I'll hold Konyechkin here. But not for long, so hurry. Make it snappy. I can't hold him here long. Thank you. 
Think of this, Father. Let's see. Shulsky, there's no time for reading. I can't read this. It's like describing colors to a blind man. I don't get it. Whatever you're mumbling, I don't care. We need to go. What happened? The guard peeked inside the cell and everything fell apart. Konyetkin was furious. It'll take him a little while before he regains his composure, so let's not waste time. I'll lead us out of the gate, but what then? My cellmates have confirmed their people are observing the Citadel. They'll pick us up. Sounds like a plan. Before we leave, I'd like to grab one of my cellmates. What? Have you lost it completely? I have to, because he doesn't know how to whistle. You'll get lost here. I'll go. You secure the passage to the gate for us. Just wait for me there. I'll be waiting.
You, what are you doing here? It's a long time since I was in Warsaw last. I wanted to explore a little. Show your pass, or you're under arrest. I wish you luck. And you, what are you grinning at? Grab the rest of those fuckers in the barracks.
So, have you mastered whistling? That's how you do it. Come on, folks. Vanda! I'm so glad to see you. What about Miha? And her? Thanks to me, the rest got out. Move. Please, come in. No one should be alone at a time like this. Emir, they killed Miha. He is not altogether lost, remember. I'm going to see Burke. The rest should know. Come on, Yannick. The famous Madame Samira has honored my humble abode. Thank you for taking us in. You must be exhausted. Please go ahead to your rooms upstairs. I'll join you in a moment. Are you coming? I'll be there in a moment.
Please, make yourselves at home. The tea is brewing and it will do us all good. Madame must be the thaumaturge Victor told me about. I also heard a lot about the Rebel Doctor when I was in the Citadel. For the time being, I'll assume we all have good intentions. As for me, you have nothing to worry about, sir. I trust her. That's enough for me. Let's not waste time. Do not mistake this somber moment for one of peace. This isn't the calm before the storm. We're in the eye of the storm. Time is scarce, the risk is great, and the consequences will be irreversible. I trust you've got the Black Grimoire already? What do you think threatens us? You're a wanted fugitive, so detainment, interrogation, and probably the noose. And you, miss. The noose. They won't waste time interrogating me. Why don't we move on from doubts to solutions? The solution is to combine all of our individualities. Separately, we're all too weak. But if we form a pact, its consequences might reverberate throughout Russia, possibly even all of Europe. Who knows, maybe that way we could save not only our own necks. What about Wanda? Aren't you afraid she'll seek revenge? Yes, and that revenge will push her to extreme measures. But what we're trying to build might save her from downfall. It's one of the reasons that time is of the essence. I got my father's grimoire back. It was where we both expected it to be. Have you studied it yet? I've browsed through it. My father somehow managed to conceal the meaning behind written words. I can feel that it's there, but it keeps slipping away. I think the combination of our powers might solve your problem. Can you tell me what we're talking about exactly? Before he died, Stanislaw Shulski created a hypothesis upon which he tried to use the full potential of Thaumaturge's mental bond. You mean peeking inside each other's heads? That is not arcane knowledge. Shulski believed that connected Thaumaturges could share their powers. Do you want to find out if it works? I'm not sure yet. Let's not waste any more time. What else do we need to form such a pact? First of all, a fourth member. The other one you mentioned. Who is that? The only one that comes to mind is Ariel Rofer. He crossed my mind too. Do you think he could be useful with the reputation he has? He hasn't shown up at the Rujits much lately. Do you know him well? Not personally. People talk about him in the neighborhood. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Don't give it too much thought. Needless trouble. Do you know where I could find him, if not at the bazaar? I know he used to live somewhere in the heart of Mirov. Maybe there. I'll bring him here. At least I'll try. There's also the question of that Rasputin. How do you think I should resolve this situation? It would be most imprudent to let such suspicious people inside your mind for too long. Any carelessness may cost all of us dearly. If you're still bound to him somehow, I'm afraid you'll have to end it. Yes. Tell him it's not him, it's you, and so on. Remember, this is no longer a question of only your noggin. Madame, the tea is ready. I have to go down now. Good luck, Victor.
Did you come to check on me? Would that be wrong? Your resistance girlfriend won't mind. It's a rhetorical question. What are your impressions after meeting our host? Do you trust no one, or are you just being polite? I just wanted to know your opinion. If what we are planning here is going to work, you'll have to trust us at some point. I'm not sure if he's a good Felcher, but he seems to be an experienced thaumaturge. And it's not easy for me, but I think I would trust him. Not that I have any choice. Who is Sara Rivkin? You saw my files at Konyechkin's. Sara Rivkin is none of your business. All right. Do you have any other personal questions? What actually convinced you to run away with me? A woman without secrets becomes vulnerable. Let me guess. Surprise me. I think I was the perfect opportunity to get off Konyechkin's leash. I wouldn't call it a leash. Rather, an entanglement. Am I right? Perhaps. I'll come back later. Sure. Intriguing. Vache document. Pardon? What don't you understand? Documents. What is it? Can't one take a walk anymore? Yet. Not with that book. Documents. I won't say it again. Raya the voice Triazzo. I'll take over. Documents, or are you deaf? Show them to me and you can be on your way. Why so nervous, officer? If it's papers you want to see, I'll show you. I've nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. He's a magician, Captain. What, am I blind? I can see he's a magician, but he's not the one. Show Harsho. You can go. Just watch yourself. I'll remember. I won't cause trouble. I've got my eye on you.
Strelzo, reinforcements are needed on Bjetska. Let's go. Yes, sir. How he crawled! Warsaw is ours! Well, yeah, but maybe that's enough already. Sonny, it takes fire to fight devils. Well, if you say so. You saw how he crawled! Warsaw is ours! That's enough already. Sonny, it takes fire to fight devils. Well, if you say so. What's going on here? A crusade in the name of God, that's what. Is it offer inside? Mother of God! Sonny, there's another one! Are you messing with my mother? I'll kill you, so help me God! Such a good son, virtuous. The hatred you carry in you, however, was planted by people who are using you like a puppet. Stop the bloodshed. I know you don't want it. What is he saying to you, Tajik? He's right, Ma. What do we know about these magicians? Only what they wrote in the leaflets. But is it true? And we won't bring that one back to life. I'm going home. I won't spill blood. Tajo. The things people come up with. You come here to gloat, Sholsky? 
Don't speak. You're losing a lot of blood. What do you want? I came to offer you a deal. What do you know? You need me. Then I'll die happier knowing I'm thwarting your plans. Lean over. Lean over me, posh boy. Let me tell you something. Fuck off. Damn it. Enough of this. The time for vengeance is here. A Warsaw free from magicians! What are you here for? We came for Rofe. Let's take this one too. We'll put them both to the torch. I bet he's in cahoots with the other one. You can tell he's the same kind of vermin as the Jew. Put fire to them, boys. Stand back, Granny. It's gonna get gory. Rofe is dead. You're late. But you're still here. Get him.
The things people come up with. You made it, my friend. Wonderful. About what happened in the church. Did you get what you'd hoped for? Yes, although bloodshed was not part of my plan. But apparently, such was God's will. But I'm sure we saved an innocent soul because God is with me. I have the power to heal. Time will tell, of course. How did you get out of there? What about you? The military gave me a ride. Why didn't you help me when they locked me up in the Citadel? God is my witness. Did I not send Lazarev to find you? Did they ask you anything during your captivity? I didn't say anything against you, if that's what worries you. It's good to know I can still count on your loyalty. It's good that you're here. That God guided you to me again. What's the occasion? Do you want to thank me for something again? Not today. Today, all of you gathered at this table are equally important. I want to celebrate you with this humble supper. I hope you'll join us. Tell me more about this occasion. What do you want to know? The corner near the brothel. It was cozier at the Nadazhinskis. But today, we wouldn't all fit. Look around and see how many believers we've gained. Are you saying that they were attracted by the miracle at the church? Of course, and the brothel is as good a place as any other. Better even. Here, lust trumps propriety and the nakedness is a symbol of truth. We're celebrating truth here today. Truth in community. You went to a lot of trouble to prepare this supper. To what purpose? I wanted to meet, to talk, to show my gratitude to those of you who have persevered on the path of truth. And stand with me, despite adversity. Bless you. Who can I expect to see at this supper? It's difficult to mention everyone. My flock keeps growing, but people are different. Strong, wise, weak, dumb. Some stumble and never get back up. They will be missed today, 
I pray for their souls. What's important is that you came back. That will do. So, will you join us now? Did you invite the press? My sermon must have made quite an impression on her. Good. Grigori, we have to talk. That sounded serious. And one should sit down before discussing serious matters. Perhaps during supper. Uh, will you join me? All right, I'll stay. And what do you plan to do after supper? God created the world and placed a beautiful garden within it in the east. Then he placed a man there. The plan is for us to meet in paradise as well, because there we will get that which we deserve, my friend. No more, no less. Do you recall our conversation over your father's grave when I asked who you feel you are? You did not know the answer then, but now you must make a decision. Soon, I'll be able to give you anything you want. That is enough for me. Can we talk now? Your serious matter, of course. I was approached by certain people. They want my help in reviving one of my father's concepts. What is it that you expect from me? Should I be afraid of something? This is goodbye for us, Grigori. We've had our moments, but now I want to go my own way. We have different visions for the future. I will work on accomplishing mine with other thaumaturges. Thank you for your honesty. I have been very eager to eat this Passover meal with you before my suffering begins. Wait a minute, my friend. I will be with you shortly. I still want to show you something before you leave for good. And Victor, I am telling you now before it happens, so that when it does take place, you may believe that I am he. Is this what death is like? An infinite void? Where? Where am I? Is this hell? Well, I could have seen it coming. I'm telling mom, all you temperate churches are crazy. And the teacher said, Victor, is the right here in the classroom with us right now? <laughs> I almost pissed myself. Cozy. Slow down, you'll get your clothes all dirty. I'm the head of this family, and I deserve respect. You'll put me in an early grave. 
cave. This is the end. You've lost. Did you not hear what I said? This is the end. I was wondering why you'd bother me again. You needed me, so here I am. It is time for the trial. What trial? Is this some sort of court? Barbarit. Yes. A trial over the conscience of Viktor Shulsky. Of what do I stand accused? And what weighs on your conscience? A clay colossus. A beautiful, destructive force. The threat you visited upon us. Yes. And do you understand why? Good. So you understand that every victory requires sacrifice. And the end only justifies the means. Ultimately, the golem rests at your side, correct? I regret how the business with the golem ended. You mean how you ended it? What about Ligia? It's your fault that pride made you tear the ambition from your sister. You have so many flaws already. What use do you have for another one? Your sister will never be the same again. So, the defendant admits guilt and shows contrition. Go on. I'm not finished. It's all right. We have all the time in the universe. Your twin sister. Despite not having your power, she was only ever kind to you this cruel world. She was genuinely happy to have you come back to her. She was alone here, you know. That's very noble of you, but is there room for a caring sister in your plans for the future? I don't think so. Soon you will be left alone again, and in time, no one will. Does loneliness scare you? Is there even a recipe for getting to know someone enough to never feel lonely? Go on. It's not over. You're a thaumaturge. As was your father, your grandfather, and your great-grandmother. You've always thought of yourself as better than others because of that. The defendant admits to his own pride. My power also reminds me daily of the disappointment I felt after you disposed of me instead of protecting me. Rubbish. I always understood you and did everything to protect us, at any cost. You're a fool if you still don't understand. Have you come down a bit now? Because Uper reminded you of what had happened. We can end by saying that I realized how much I threatened the family at that time. And exile was not cruelty. It was mercy. And the Black Grimoire? You always coveted it. 
and behold, according to the last will, it's yours. Do you think this means you've never meant anything? Have you changed your mind? Are you ashamed of your past glibness? I guess it's not a crime to change your views, right? Not at all. That's enough. Accusations and evidence have been presented, and witnesses as well as jurors have expressed their opinions. Are you ready to hear the verdict? I want to hear the verdict. What do you think the trial has revealed? It made me realize that I regret my decisions. And you think that's the way it should be? Yes, I acted against my own conscience and am now consumed with regret. The verdict is guilty. Guilty of self-involvement, suppressing his conscience, and breaking others at will. Guilty, guilty, guilty. This cannot end like this. And it won't end until you begin on one of the paths. This is the only way you can atone for your transgressions. Are you talking about the Rasputin and the Coterie? There may be other paths available. Which one do you prefer? Why the Coterie? I believe that they are the answer to troubled times, and that they will be my rock. So, you accept everything that was meant for you, and you will use it as you see fit. Are you happy with events taking this course? Yes. I want this. So, remember what it is you're feeling now when the time for the trial comes. And you, what would you do in my place? I died beneath that tenement house. What you see is an embodiment of your pride, conscious or doubts. Those are the things you're arguing with, don't. You are your own worst enemy. Go now. Will I ever see you again? That's entirely up to you. You are in charge here. Let's meet in paradise, the garden near the fountain. Satan has asked to sift all of you as wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. I have an idea who the author is, but I don't know how it's possible. I have no idea where to look for this paradise and garden. I don't remember how I ended up here. Is it possible that what happened near the brother was just a dream? You're right. A dream wouldn't hurt like this. I'll think about this later.
les gars. Christ, don't sneak up on me like that. How do you feel? You took care of me. Thank you. Forget it, I wouldn't have managed it on my own. Grazenka helped me. Are you sure you don't want to rest some more? Where is Grazenka? She left to get some supplies. It's hard to buy anything now, but she left yesterday and still hasn't come back. Maybe she just had to hide somewhere and is waiting. Did someone come here when I was asleep? Did we have any visitors? Apart from myself, uncle and Grazenka, I didn't let anyone in. The streets are not safe. Why do you ask? I found an unusual letter on the nightstand about a garden of paradise. What letter? The only garden that's being talked about now is the one at Dolinka Schweizarska. The Tsar and his entourage are planning to have a garden party in a park there. Would you use the phrase garden in the east to describe Dolinka? In the east? Dolinka is south of here. The only eastern thing about it is its guests. What is this party at Dolinka Schweizarska? The Tsar is celebrating his son's birthday. Is everything all right? You look concerned. That's because I am. Whatever is happening on the streets right now, it scares me. Is that why you unearthed Papa's musket? Does it still work? Just now I thought I would find out. Before you woke up, they shot a man on our street. He crawled away somewhere, but he was bleeding so badly. The entire city has gone insane. The Governor General has closed the borders and isn't letting anyone leave. People have barricaded themselves in their homes. Maybe the Russians are waiting for us to kill each other ourselves. And they may be right. Only madmen roam the streets now. I won't let you get hurt as long as I live. I promise. In that case, I wonder how long it will last. Did you intend to inform me that you escaped from the Citadel? I've just risen from the dead. Besides, I didn't want to bother you. At least until I came up with a solution. And how is that going? I'm considering a few options. Give me some time. I'm just worried about you. Besides, I guess I'm most worried about Grazenka right now. Do you know if anything happened to the store? I didn't even want to try to get in there to check. You shouldn't go there right now. This chaos in the city. How long has it been going on? Three days. Uncle brought you here, half dead, three days ago. Do you know what day it is? Hold on. The last day of summer. I'm sorry, I don't have anything for you. You have risen from the dead. That has to be enough for me. At least until Christmas. Grazenka. I thought I'd find you in worse health. I see you've once again managed to avoid the consequences of your decisions. I'm afraid I must put a stop to this. You are under arrest for taking part in a conspiracy against the Tsar and engaging in terrorism. You'll also be held accountable for escaping from the Citadel and for your active support of the Socialists, the enemies of the Empire. Your brother didn't bother to mention that, Miss Ligia? You'll be coming with us, Mr. Shulsky. Why do you torment our family? What are you hoping to get out of it? And how the hell did you get the keys to our house? Dear Ligia, please, 
try to understand that it was your brother who brought these dark clouds down upon your family. I'm just trying to disperse them without bloodshed. If you don't resist, I give you my word that no harm will come to your sister. Shall we? You are leaving. Straight to hell, you son of a bitch. If you think you'll take me away from my own home, you are mistaken. No, Chief. We'll finish this here. I didn't receive an invitation, so I decided to drop in on my own. After all, today is a Shulsky family holiday. Mr. Nyajit, Warsaw will get rid of two pests today. Wanna share any other fantasies? Don't worry about the broken window pane, Victor. I'll deduct it from the five rubles you still owe.
I won't beg for mercy, if that's what you were hoping for. I loaded my piece today. Just say the word, and the balding prick will lose the other half of his face. Nyajits, loyal to the end, like a dog, like his father. Are you going to let this mongrel deprive you of the pleasure? Will you leave my fresh corpse to your sister as a gift? Blood soaks into stone for many long years. A unique birthday gift. The word. Alive, he would never have left you alone. Yes, you're right. Thanks. About it, did you? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. What now? Now we'll do some cleaning. I'll fetch a shovel. Why, you'll be the protagonist of my next poem. Done. It doesn't even show. I could help you more. No, no, it's your birthday. Rest in peace, Chief. Better than anyone for so many years. You were always with me, and you always will be. We have to talk about our future. Any ideas? I was thinking about our Thaumaturge friends, who will understand better than I am, apart from you, of course. You're right, we both owe a lot to Rasputin. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't even be talking now. But his path, even if it does lead to the Romanov's court, is uncertain, and the price of following it is unknown. Do you think Rasputin could have survived? The letter, yes. But it doesn't decide anything. He could have sent it before visiting the brother. But if he's alive, can we trust him? He may take us to see the Tsar, but what will be the price? Tough choice, isn't it? Let's not waste any more time. Let's try to resurrect my father's cause. Let's return to our magical friends. Rasputin will have to return from the dead alone. Nijit just murdered the chief of the Ochrana in the hallway. And saved our lives. What's next? What do you intend to do? I've thought of a good ending for our story. I want to finish what Father started. I'll rebuild the Thaumaturge coterie. I hope that will bring peace to him and to us. 
Papa would have been proud of you. I'm sure not living to see this was part of his plan. Victor. There was a man, and now the man is no more. See, Victor? If I put my mind to it, I can do a little magic myself. Did someone die again and needs to be buried? We've decided about our future. It's time to look my enemies in the eye and appreciate those who stand with me. I need to see certain things through to the end. Well, well, our Victor, all grown up. I'll come back for you once it's all over. Be careful. Good luck, brother. You can do it. I don't look that bad, do I? I need a carriage. Is this one free? Sir, they want a bribe from me. Help. Look, Private. This one's even got a book. The brass will be happy. Tell these two about their rights. You have none. By virtue of the decree on the martial law, you have been classified as suspicious characters. We will escort you to the Citadel. Unless some sort of a gift convinces us you are innocent. So this what soldiers of the Russian Empire look like. A bunch of pathetic bribe takers with no honor and no sense of duty. Suit yourself, magician. We'll see just how much honor you have when you end up in the Citadel. Let's get him. Doesn't have to be in one piece.
I have no idea what you did to them, but today I will drive you for free. We just have to be careful. Some of the districts are cut off by the authorities. Still, today's rides are on me.
I knew that if you were alive, you would show up. If not death, then what stood in your way? A certain bearded friend of mine has kicked up a storm in the city. The town has gone crazy. I saw people furious at thaumaturges. I never thought it was so easy to get pitchforks and torches in Warsaw. Skawan seized the opportunity, and he's bringing in a new order. That's why we waited so long. Without you... Warsaw is no longer a city for thaumaturges. What were you doing for those three days? I was wondering how we could leave Warsaw in case you never came back. I had a few wounded to treat, and I prayed that the next one wouldn't be you. What are we waiting for? I'm afraid the three of us will have to suffice. What happened? When I got to him, he was dying. Wounded in a fight with an angry mob. Anti-thaumaturge lynchings are spreading across the city. There will be time for remorse and grief when this is all over. Let's get on with it. Even though we have different motivations, I trust that the pact is our destiny. Follow my lead. I, Emir Bernakovich Falje, worshipper of Allah, Yearning for the Free Republic of Poland, declare willingness to form the Pact, and make the ultimate sacrifice for its cause. I, Sara Rivkin, follower of Moses, am willing to form our Pact, hoping it will grant me... freedom. Your turn. My name is Viktor Shulski. I'm a Thaumaturge. It wasn't my choice. But when someone seeks our blood, they should be met with the proper response. I'm not going to beg anyone for mercy. Never again. For that, I am willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. Is that it? I can't feel anything. According to Stanislav's hypothesis, in order to conclude forming a pact, we need to read the instructions from the Black Grimoire together. Victor, focus on each of our dimensions now, and we'll help you read whatever Stanislav hid in the book. Focus on your heart first. My heart reveals the first inscription before me. From now on, we have one heart that beats with one rhythm. I felt it. I felt relieved. I can feel something too. I know that golden tale. Very impressive. Now, the other dimensions. Word. 
I cannot read this inscription. Maybe you got distracted. Focus. No, nothing. Perhaps without the fourth one, we won't be able to reveal the full potential. Keep trying. This inscription is resisting. Let me act. From now on, all of our deeds are devoted to one common cause. I feel a tingling in my fingers. Don't get distracted. Mine. This inscription evades me. It won't let me grasp it. From now on, our mind will keep no secrets from itself. That's easy. I think I felt your thoughts, but we'll get back to that. That's it. I think we're done. I think so. I know your favorite colors and many other things I didn't want to know. Thank you, Victor. I felt a kind of thought, a feeling, yours. You didn't say you'd known my mother so well. I wonder if Victor's father knew. Let's focus on the present. Do we know what to do? Other than what has already been said, do you feel anything else? I have a different question. Were you going to tell me Konyechkin was dead? Since we have no more secrets, let's move on to the plan. I think we're all thinking the same thing. That Tsarevich will have an unforgettable birthday. Yes, this is our last chance at an audience with the Tsar before he leaves the city. We can't go in empty-handed. We need arguments that will push the Tsar to make the right decision. We can stop the madness that has spread across the city without bloodshed. If only we could get through to the Tsar's supporters at the party and... Sneak past the Tsar's guards and military. We'd be able to get inside the Tsar's noggin. Let's do it. Oh, you're actually pleasant to look at now. These... these people won't break in here, will they? Just smile and check the invitations, Paranishka. Are your grimoires well hidden? Then we just need to get through the gate. Suggestions? Please, I'm counting on you. Gentlemen, let me handle this. Just follow me. Your invitation? I am Madame Samira, and these are my assistants. Countess Lermontova expects that I give her a tarot reading. Countess Lermontova, of course, but your companions... Of course, come in, please. I didn't think I would see you again. And yet, here you are. I might say the same about you. I thought you wouldn't be in the mood for a party. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, death for death. Why are you here, really? What are you trying to do? 
That's none of your business. Leave me alone, or I'll call the guards. They'll be happy to see a wanted fugitive. This isn't over. Can you feel it? It's the smell of mystery. I told you to leave me alone. I know you have a gun and you want to kill Skawan. I was going to start with Konyechkin, but that coward got rubbed out by some random Genef. So it's Skawan's turn now. I'll kill him and anyone who gets in my way. That's madness. Even if you manage to do it, you'll die a moment later. I don't have many reasons to live. Yannick needs you. He barely made it out alive from the Citadel. You can't leave him now. Ugh. You'll have your revenge. I swear. But now go home and let me act. I didn't expect to see you here, Talmadurge. You seem surprised to see me. I saw how the explosion swept you away and threw you like a ragdoll. I thought you were dead. Maybe I rose from the dead. Don't blaspheme. Only Grigori will experience this miracle. He will return. And with him, the hope for chasing away the darkness of an uncertain future. For his grace will be with us. Do you understand? What do you remember from this explosion? Chaos. Blood. It's hard for me to talk about it. Do you believe someone wanted to kill Rasputin? Of course! The first Christians were also thrown to the lions. Satan laid his hand on Grigori and tried to break him. But he will not bend. He will defeat death and return. What about Aniela and Lucian? They are no longer with us. They are already enjoying the afterlife, awaiting salvation. Do you think they deserved such a fate? Each of us has a different fate in store for them. Aniela was chosen. She died at Grigori's side. And Lucian just disappeared one day. I think he might have left because his fate wasn't strong enough. I don't want to talk about them anymore. I need to have clarity in my heart. I'll let you work. It's a mission. Preaching the truth. For I tell you, having faith in yourself is treacherous, but having faith in him is the right way. These spirits tell me you can't go any further. I can see a certain old hag there. Would it be Countess Lermontova? Indeed. She and her family are thick with the Romanovs. So she must know a lot. I would talk to her, but I'm afraid she'll recognize me and call the guards. You want me to do what I reckon? I think the Countess is waiting for her tarot reading. You remembered. 
keep her busy, and I'll see what I can learn from reading her belongings. That's what I'm thinking. I suggest you start with Donut. Donut? Her dog. The Countess's thoughts cling to him like a barnacle. Go, I'll meet you here when you're done. Good boy. Nothing can be kept secret from me. How was your chat with the campus? Better tell me what you have found. Wait, wait, don't say it. Just focus on it. Are you afraid the old lady will take everything from you and your sister to build a new palace for herself? I'm sorry, I can't resist it, but I can sympathize. I can feel how important it is for you. The Countess pitched me a lovely story about how the confiscated goods would be used to help the needy. We both know she's lying, and her decree is already on the Tsar's desk, ready to be signed. I like these new abilities more and more. And now try to read what I think about it. You want to get back at her? I never thought revenge was in your nature. I'm thinking we might try to make the Countess tell everyone what she thinks out loud. So, I'll take care of everything. Fine, let's do it. Watch and listen carefully. There is one more thing I would like to ask you. I feel confused about the plan to confiscate properties. Could you explain how it's really going to work and to whose advantage? But of course, as soon as the Tsar puts his signature on it, mm -hmm. the Lermonts will take over the Taumaturge's properties for a contribution to the fight against those parasites. Mother, keep it down. Don't be ashamed, son. You did agree to this. It would be a pity if that money was wasted, and this way we can build you a beautiful mansion so that you can finally move out. But what good would the money do to the poor? They would just throw it away. Mother, we should go now. Madame, please excuse us. <laughs> A familiar face. Good evening. Are you trying to cook up another scandal? The last time I saw you were accompanied by two gentlemen. What happened to them? I needed some space. 
Sergei, why the hostility? Let's see. Because you humiliated me. Because you ruined my chance to get happily married. Sofia has traveled across the ocean just to stay away from me. Sergei, we both know that Sofia never treated you seriously. She led you on for her own enjoyment and to spite her father. But she couldn't fool a thaumaturge. You opened my eyes to the fact that she never loved me, for which I will be eternally grateful. Nevertheless, I need to ask, what are you actually doing here? I'm here with my friends. Are they taumaturges as well? Why do you ask? I believe you should listen to me. Yes? What did you want to share with me? I was recently elected to the city council. I've also been attending audiences with Tsar Nikolai. Things that are now being discussed at the top are making me worried. What are you specifically worried about? The council has prepared a series of anti taumaturges decrees. They only need to be signed by the Tsar. In the decrees, Skawon advocates for such ideas as exile or creating adjustment clinics. Shall I go on? I'd like to know some specifics. For example, those clinics. That's the most ruthless part. Do you know what a lobotomy looks like? That's how these places are meant to socially adjust taumaturges. But you didn't hear it from me, all right? I didn't expect to find an ally in you. Likewise. Please, be careful. Thank you, Sergei. That's enough. What are you going to do? I'm going to get through to the one who can help me with that. Have a good evening. I can't eat anymore. Pass. Well, maybe just a piece of... Uh... Maria? What? Is it a crime to eat now? Don't pester a pregnant woman, please. Don't you recognize me? Oh, it's you. I've been so distracted lately. You know, being with child and all. Do you believe that Rasputin survived the explosion? He who believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. He who believes in me shall live forever. But it's a shame about Aniela. Silly woman, she could have been here with us. Oh well. I have to think about someone else now. Congratulations. Who's the lucky father? For behold, from henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed. 
for he that is mighty have done to me great things. Pretty, isn't it? I'll be giving birth to a savior. Grigory loves me more than all of you. I see you found some new company. Who are they? These are my friends. Unlike Rasputin, they're real. You betrayed him. He gave you everything, and you abandoned him. You'll find out about this. You will see. Rasputin isn't here. Has he at least given you a sign that he's alive? You won't break my faith. That means no. Good luck. It's time for me to go. It's best that you do. I'll stop wasting my energy on you. I have to take care of myself. Shursky. Interesting sight. A bourgeois waiter. You do realize that you are still a wanted man? I didn't expect we would see each other again. After Rasputin's death, you tucked your tail and went crawling back to your old masters? I've never doubted the great mystic, unlike you. Rasputin chose me to be the executor of his work. So you also got a vague letter. But unlike me, I guess you actually believed its contents. You are not worthy enough to find your way to Rasputin, so be silent, Judas scum. Soon the entire world will serve him, and I shall be his right hand. Me alone, perhaps. You know you're not the only helper here, right? I also met Maria. Did you know she's with child? No surprise who the father is. When Rasputin gets his child, how long do you think it will take for you to fall out of favor? Maria, the whore. She's not worthy of such an honor. And her friend? Magdalena preaches Rasputin's word, just like he told her to. And she brings him new converts. What about you? You coordinate the operation while hiding in the bushes? I've already received my orders. Rasputin will never forgive you, and when he returns, he will reward me for bringing you to justice, for I am his hammer that smites the witches.
I can see you've picked the spot right in the thick of things. Are you having a good time? Not too bad. I just had a chat with a certain young lady in waiting. But we'll get back to that. I bet parties like this are nothing new for you. Expensive evening wear, champagne, imminent danger. This is perfect. What about the lady in waiting? She told me that the Tsar is in one of the chambers on the upper floor. The stairs are guarded by Skawan soldiers, and the Governor General himself is keeping an eye on the entire hall. We must make him look away. I'll try to approach Skawan somehow. Be careful. Is there anything else? I've heard some news about certain decrees waiting to be signed on the Tsar's desk. What's in them? I've learned that one of the ideas to combat Thaumaturges will be the forfeiture of our properties. How do you feel about it as an heir to a fortune? Of course, I consider it simple misappropriation. I hope you would feel the same were you born into poverty. I managed to have a few words with a certain young man from the city council. He told me about an idea to introduce places that in a nutshell would make us thaumaturges lose our minds, and thereby our powers. What exactly are you talking about? A lobotomy. At least that's what it sounds like. There's something else that bothers me. Tell me. I'll try to help. Vanda is here. I was afraid she might show up. Have you talked to her? Yes. And I know she's planning to kill Skawan in revenge. She will die. Worse yet, she'll ruin everything we've worked toward. I took care of her. Apart from her hurt pride and ruined plans for the evening, She's safe and sound. There's something else that bothers me. Tell me. I'll try to help. I'll come back later. Good luck.
And... I'll come back later. Good luck. Good evening. Who are you? I've got a feeling I've seen you before. I came here with my friends, and I'm hoping to introduce them to you. Soon. If they were truly important, I'd know them already. Have you got a cigarette? Sadly, no. That's too bad. Anything else I can help you with? I can still hear gunshots from the city. As a concerned subject, can I ask if we're safe here? I understand, and I tell you the same thing I'm telling others. The situation is under control. My best men are keeping you safe. Not even a mouse could squeeze by. What about thaumaturges? What if any of them managed to sneak in? If they did, I would know about it. I can only tell you that this problem will soon be solved. Meaning? Thaumaturges are dangerous. Riots, explosions, that Rasputin character's cult terrorists are complete decay of authority. Their plotting affects everyone, even those dear to us. Do you think that bearded cultist, Rasputin, is a thaumaturge too? Most likely. How else would he deceive so many people? Even Tsarina Alexandra looks kindly upon him. Luckily he was killed by a bomb in a brothel. Don't forget the cholera epidemics that keep plaguing the town. Is the thaumaturge is doing too? I see we understand each other. I heard one of those magicians escaped from the Citadel. Was it Shulsky? Yes, but soon enough we'll see him dangling from a rope. How would one know they're dealing with Shulsky? I know their tricks, don't worry. Besides, the chance he shows up here is close to zero. What a relief. Thank you, Governor General. Anything else? Is that Shulsky guy dangerous? Shulsky is the epitome of depravity. He had everything, but his cursed blood made him go off the rails. Such a morally unstable temper monster is capable of anything. But as I've already said, we are safe from him here. Thank you. I feel better now. My mission is to protect the Tsar's subjects. Has the Thaumaturge ever hurt anyone close to you? Their magic hurt my daughter, but not only her. Let's leave it. I see. Let's change the subject. Good idea. How do you find His Royal Highness's birthday party? 
As the one in charge of Warsaw, I have my duties regarding the royal couple, so I am not paying much attention to the banquet. You must excuse me. The pile of presents for the Tsarevich looks impressive and continues to grow. Yes, indeed. Let's change the subject. Good idea. How is Miss Sofia doing? Is she in good health? I don't have a daughter, and I suggest you watch your mouth. Let's change the subject. Good day. I won't take any more of your time. Enjoy yourself. And? I talked to the Governor General. So, how does it feel to come face to face with the Butcher of Warsaw and exchange pleasantries about refreshments? Up close, he doesn't seem so scary. Right. Have you learned anything that might help? The Governor carries the floor and I want to take advantage of it. Are you going to rid him of it? Surely it may affect his well-being. And I hope we can get rid of him that way. Wait. Before we start, you should make sure we're ready to talk to the Tsar. There will be no turning back. I believe I've gotten everything I could. Fine. Skawan's flaw. It might work. Just promise me one thing. You'll be extremely cautious with him. I know what I'm doing. I was the one who found the Black Grimoire. I was the one who started the pact. And it won't be my first time seizing the floor. Hopefully not the last either. Shall we? We wanted to talk to you, my friends and I. Where am I? Governor General? Welcome to inside your head, Skawon. We've got you now. Wait a second, something's wrong. Shouldn't he be unconscious? Unless he has his own powers, his conscious state could be an effect of the pact. Sarah Rifkin, and you? What's going on here? Who are you? My name is Viktor Shulski. Shulski. I will have you executed on the spot, all of you! So, shall we get down to it? Go on. I can't wait. What does it feel like to be at the mercy of thaumaturges? Terrifying. What is this? You've just found out that we're not capable of lying in this place. Intriguing, isn't it? What am I hearing? You want to experiment on us, deprive us of powers and reason. May Allah have mercy on you. I'll deal with him. I'll show the Butcher his place. Of course. Your worst nightmare is coming true. A thaumaturge will remind you of what true fear means. You're scared of her, even though she's been dead for many years. She repaid you for the way you oppressed her because she had powers and you didn't. What happened to you? She sent a demon after me. My own sister. She brought down nightmares upon me. I went my bed for years. That's why your fear turned into anger and anger into hate. You pathetic creature. And now we all suffer because you're an oppressor by nature. Say what you did to her and what you're planning for us. I smashed her skull with a brick and threw her body down a well. Once the Tsar signs our decrees, we will seize all of you and mangle your brains. I will kill all of you one by one. 
The floor is ready. Remove it, and we can go. Remove it? You want to give him relief? He doesn't deserve peace. Besides, he's seen our faces. There's a chance you'll be a different man without it. I will free you from the fear that has triggered this destructive hatred within you. What a disappointing ending for someone like that. Good job. Let's go. I had a feeling it was going too easy. You! Who are you? Rukivier! I'm afraid I've got other plans.
handled it some other way. What was I supposed to do? Have a duel of arguments with them? Stop it. We've got things to do here. Stop! Who are you? Skawon! The Governor General is a little indisposed right now, and I don't think he will get better soon. Don't come any closer! Better put it down before anyone gets hurt. You don't need anger and fear now. Be calm and lower your weapon. It won't do any good here. Can you do that now? Through the pact? So it seems. What is going on? How? How is that possible? You must be Thaumaturges. Is that a revolution? Are you here to kill me? My name is Viktor Shulski. This is Emir Burnakovich and Madame Samira. I appreciate the change in tone. Viktor Shulski, do you want my demise? That depends on whether we meet resistance. Not like that. You will hang for this, Taumaturgi. Will you let me speak? Be my guest. Your Majesty, we came here because our lives are in jeopardy. The most crucial thing for us is that you stop hunting thaumaturges. The pogroms must end. Tell me why would I agree to anything? We stand before your majesty not as some motley crew, but as a group of thaumaturges united by a pact. We've done the impossible to get here today. And from that position, we seek to start a dialogue. We believe it will bring mutual benefits. Do you have a name for it? You can call us the Coterie. Go on. Who knows, we might reach an agreement after all. We know there are some decrees on the Tsar's desk awaiting your signature. And what do you think is in them? We know the decrees stipulate creating special adjustment clinics, and thaumaturges won't be the only patients there. Your subjects, so diverse in terms of ethnicity and religion, will surely recognize the threat, and their fear will turn into hatred. The Empire will fall. The Crown has enough enemies outside without having to deal with internal ones. Still not enough to convince me, Taumaturgi. The Coterie could become a powerful ally of your Imperial Majesty, here, in Warsaw, and in Poland. What we have presented so far testifies in our favor. We have no trouble learning the secrets of people's hearts and minds. And we are willing to share them. I've heard enough. I understand you want something in exchange. Let me hear it. We want justice for the wrongdoing we suffer in the streets, and for the blood we are forced to spill to survive. We want more freedom in the political and social domain for everyone. The people of Warsaw, one of the most important municipalities in Russia, will remember your gesture. Is that all? Make the Ochrana forget about Sararivkin and let her files disappear from their archives forever. You want power. Just admit it already. The sooner you admit it, the better. Power can be won or bestowed. Today, you did both. We will meet your demands and expect allegiance and loyalty in the return. So help me God.
If that's all, Taumaturgi, I trust we have reached an agreement. Do I hear applause? What's going on there? Time's running out, and my guests are waiting. Let's keep it short. Is that it? Can I finally get some champagne? Stanislav can finally rest in peace, son. You should be proud. We all owe you a lot. We couldn't fail. After all, I was here with you. You're too generous, sir. Friends, today on the birthday of my son and successor, my father's words show the direction of my thoughts. The voice of God orders us courageously to undertake, in deference to divine intention, the task of ruling, with faith in the strength and rightness of autocratic power. The riots in Warsaw fill our hearts with much sadness, and the nation's grief is also the grief of the Emperor of Russia. We have closed our eyes to the suffering of our people, to the suffering of Taumaturgi, who were granted their powers by God. Which is why I consider it our moral duty to stop all kinds of violence against them, effective immediately. That is our wish. However, May those who take my grace for weakness know that the Russian Empire is strong and ruthless against its enemies. So help me God. I'm glad to find you in good health. You didn't look like you were going to recover. I suppose you can see very well from where you were standing. New company? Friends. What now? Farewell, Grigori. Now each of us should follow his own path. I appreciate what you have done for me. Enjoy this moment of bliss. It might not last long. That sounded like a threat. Victor, is everything all right? Is this that Rasputin of yours? I expected something more. Assalamu alaikum. Would you tell me how you are able to talk with us here? This must be your new daddy, Victor. Aren't you going to introduce me? And this must be the famous Madame Samira, the identity thief. Wait, I think someone is missing. Oh, right. You were so selfish that you didn't keep your word. And you didn't give him the golem. And? He died. Is he bothering you? Indeed, and I could use some help. Get out! This is between you and me. And your magician friends can't help you. There's no winning against me. You should have learned that by now.
dare he throw us out? Did you explain it all to him? Is everything all right? I think so. I must admit, he is remarkable. Rasputin? Shtosvami? It's nothing. Know your place. I can't stand the cold of the snow. There's no use for it. And the glasses constantly fog up when you come into a warm room. Then why do you wear them? After the explosion, I'm having problems with my eyesight. Now that you wear them, you really are the spitting image of Stanislav. Some tea to warm up? I won't say no to that. I had a new rumor a propos Skaon. Once we made him aware of a few things, he disappeared, and now they're saying he shot himself. Well, I could have been less restrained. I know. The other news is rather grim. There's a new political power on the rise in the city. Besides being resentful of Jews, they also want to get rid of thaumaturges and homosexuals. What about the Tatars? Let's ask. They're getting together at a bar in Vola. Who are they exactly? Forgive me, I didn't ask. But it would be good to make sure they don't grow any larger. Let's go. Let's listen to what they have to say at these drinking bouts of theirs. Is today that special day when you're not preoccupied with your little revolutionary? Maybe yes, maybe not. They won't protect you. Every debt will be repaid, one way or another. Victor, what are you waiting for? Doesn't matter. Let's go. They say your choices define your value. What does that make me? The Upper took me on a journey that made me realize how my difficult relationship with my father looked from his point of view, and how I should look at it in hindsight. I try to see Niga often, but the sight of my sister in apathy breaks my heart. Without her flaw, she has become someone else. Someone I don't know. That is why I latch onto duties concerning the Coterie. At least here, I can change something for the better. Uncle Sasha has become a grandfather. He seems to enjoy spending his retirement pampering his grandchild. The true circumstances of the Warsaw Okhrana chief's disappearance remain unclear. But the streets know who rubbed the fucker out. Niedzic, the new king of Śródmieście. Right, about his influence is increasing. He's been proclaimed the king of Śródmieście. The Shivs keep the authorities at bay, and their boss dictates the laws. I'm worried about what's happening in the city. Warsaw is on fire. People finally dare to lift their weary heads while socialist militants carry out attacks on anyone who doesn't support the revolution. As for the Flying University, 
The idea faded and died in the Ochrana cells where the rebellious students were locked up. The weary traveler made it to his longed for Albuquerque. How do I know? That's a completely different story. But enough about that. It's time for a new adventure, my friend. <laughs>